This is our official public meeting, yearly public meeting is required by the CPA law where people from the community can come and give us input. Um, and that's what we're gonna start out with. Does anyone have any input they'd like to put in? What are you looking for? Please. So, <clears throat> so the uh, select board set a special town meeting date for October 18th with a warrant closure date of August 1st. And if the committee could inform uh, the department heads when, what is your, what is your process uh, and uh, when are the dates by which the, that process comes to occur? That would be extremely helpful. Warrant closures August 1st? Yep. Yeah, I have a list, uh, this very handy. And Tom step meeting by step. October 18th. 10, 18. Thank you. Which everybody can take it. We will, uh, before our meeting ends, after the, I have to formally close the public meeting, but we'll set the calendar and we'll walk everything back and mm -hmm. see how many weeks you need and all that stuff. So we'll do that in nice. a couple minutes. Anyone else you want to introduce yourselves or say why you're here? I'm at Alan Weinberg. I'm chairman of the cemetery committee. Okay. 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 Yes. Jenny Lambert, uh, Director. Okay. All right. Um, do you have any comments in the public part of the meeting? Questions about CPA? You know. Are you going to talk about your schedule? I think that David just mentioned that. That's what yeah. you want to. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. mainly what I want to yeah. find we're out. Not, we're not going to discuss any particular proposals right. tonight, but uh, but it is an open meeting for everybody in that meeting. How do you think CPA is going? <laughs> I think you're doing wonderful. Under your tutelage. Flattery will get you nowhere. Any any other any other comments? I think we have a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah, yeah. I well, think so too. It's growing by leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. And I think as a as a committee, you know, it's it's really unfair to dump on one 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 guy. Mm -hmm. That. I think as a committee, we all have to step up and take little pieces of it and work on them because it's, it gets too overwhelming very quickly, <laughs> very quickly. And uh, we're fortunate that Andy is able to step up to the plate now. And, but it's not that he's not doing a good job, but I think it's only fair that the rest of us do our fair share. Yes. I do need some help with the filer. Mm -hmm. I am fall behind on the file. Weren't we going to talk about hiring someone part-time to do that very thing, since we have administrative money? Mm, that's one option. That's one option. Um, all right, well, thank you, Emily, for your kind words. Um, all right, let's officially close the public meeting. That was quick. Mm -hmm. Is this the public hearing? Public hearing, yeah. So you, you have to talk about the plan? Well, that's next. Well, he should, should he discuss it during the public part of the hearing? I don't think oh, it matters. Oh, prior to the hearing? the hearing. I got it. The open public meeting? That's fine. You mean the public comment? No, 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 no. We should no public comment. Should we, what, what should we do next? I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it What's from the standpoint agenda? that this is a draft plan. Okay. So we should, when it gets to be a final plan, then we present it and ask for public input. Okay. But well, we need it a year later, so right. I just have to count. Mm -hmm. All right. Can we, um, with the committee's permission, can we do the schedule first? Sure. The walk back schedule with the other Kappa calendar. So, David, when do you want our uh, warrant articles? What would you like? Um, to I'll just first. Absolute drop deadline. 
the deadline is going to be two weeks prior to the October 18th. So if we could have conceptual articles by August 1st, that would be helpful. And then final articles sometime in September, that would be I, that would be good. Okay, I'm sorry, I was running down what you said. So uh, August 1st is when the warren closes. So if we could have conceptual articles at that point, so things that are typically funded by CPA. I don't need to tell you land preservation, historic preservation, uh, community uh, recreation, park cemeteries, all that kind of stuff, open space. Okay. If we could have a list of what those are, it doesn't have to be fully spelled out, but at least so that we have placeholders August 1st. Okay. If uh, by mid to late September we could have final votes and final language, that would be ideal. That way I can get them up to council for final tweaking. Right. And that way we're posting the first week in October and so off we go. So let's um, get hold of it. maybe <laughs> you want to have a meeting um, or two meetings at the beginning of September. We want to wait that long. Well, he wants we can conceptual by eight one, which is August. Yeah, have there been meetings. any submissions yet? Or? I know uh, there have been you? inquiries, no submissions, but inquiries. So we should probably have both one of these. And we're going to put a placeholder for those things prior to August 1st, right? But we don't know what's going to come in. No, but we might have yeah. to schedule a meeting between them and, and then to potentially vote on things that we don't know that I can hear. So we're talking like the, the, the last week in July? Sure. Or, or wait a minute. Or, because this is I mean, June 11th. What did we agree on? Now. What did we agree on in our... I believe what we set was that we would have meetings in January and August. Those was, was what we agreed upon. I have to go back and look, but I believe that's what we set as we accept applications like first week in August, we vote, um, and then we hold, a, we hold a meeting or hearing, and then we vote at the second hearing or meeting. It seems like we could do that first but we won't be okay two weeks in but, so you would have to get information one. out to people like, next week <laughs> yeah next week and say yeah by august 1st we need i mean what day is august 1st it's a wednesday, it's a wednesday so we want to say we the month of july 30th that monday before just to keep uh mm -hmm. that's going to be tough for me well, I'm just, I mean, I'm just throwing it out. I mean, I'm just throwing it out. Do we want to just... Well, I, I, I set a soft deadline. Okay. You know, if somebody says to me, I have a proposal, it's almost done, I need a few more days, I don't say, no, too late. Oh, no, I don't, have any, I don't have an issue <laughs> with know? that. I'm, I'm just trying to wrangle with the 8-1 right. because it earlier. it's earlier than what we've done in the past. That's, right. that's all I'm... Just trying to get my mind about that because we're looking at what July, let's see, like 30th? Yeah. That's placeholders. Right. That's a Tuesday. The 30th. And, and, and so if we went to 29th, it would be. July is 31, right? 30 days. Right, it's 30th, Monday. Monday is the 30th. Okay. Let's okay. see. So he wants, well, I don't know if that's enough time. If we need to get everything filed, well, we'll need to know how many possible warrant articles there are by August 1st, but we won't, don't have to vote them right. then, right? Right. Um, well, so... I would think you would want to create, I think the select board, and correct me if I'm wrong, David, would be looking for Potential placeholder ar warrant articles coming out of us. Potential yeah. placeholder warrant articles coming out of us. Yeah. But in order to know your potential, you need to have applications right. submitted. Right. So. How about a month from today, four weeks, mid mid July? Would that work for people? Yeah. Daniel. Yeah. 
So on July 11th, we're holding a department head meeting. Okay. Uh, and I can get the word out to the departments that they need to get their requests in, at least in conceptual form, to the CPA committee, <coughs> to the ANDI, if that's the point of contact. So I can do a lot to get the information out. Okay. Well, then the question is, are we going to do it July 30th? Or are we going to do the first meeting August 6th? And then skip a week and then have another meeting after that, right? Some so on sure. yeah. so the first yeah. meeting would be to where people would present proposals. Right. And the second meeting would be, we would, in the interim, we would review them and the second meeting would be to... Right. I mean, you would need things before August 1st, anyways. Yes. That's the select board deadline for us. Right, but in order to give them like a generic number, you know, we've got four applications, so we need to meet board. before that. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, not necessarily. Well, that's what no, I'm we should. should. Yeah, we yeah, should. should. In my opinion. Before 8 1? Sure, because sure, okay. we might say, hey, this doesn't meet our guidelines. Right, but to pull one off the warrant isn't a big deal, right? Correct. Yeah, so. My thought is, you know, if you get things in by, you, you set a deadline, applications must be received by X date, yeah. and it's before August 1st, then you would be able to say, just give David a call or shoot him an email and say, hey, we've got four applications, give us four placeholders. So if we met on the 6th and then two weeks later, then we would know by the end of August what's going forward versus drag, bringing it into September. Okay. All right. that, that's just and Do we want to just set a deadline of July 15th for submission of proposals? Mm -hmm. That would give time to make copies, get them to all of us. And I don't think that's enough time I, for I, people. I think we could do it the 30th. July 30th for applications? Uh, I think so. And then we could meet on August 6th, 29th. Sure. I'm just throwing these numbers out. What did I just say? Proposals on the 30th. Yeah. David, yeah, department heads, I mean, like, historical commission mm -hmm. doesn't go to the department head meeting. They're always invited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what if they say? have a August proposal, right. they'll, come, they'll let you know. First, um, no, first meeting August 6th, second meeting August, well, do we need two weeks? Yeah, I don't yeah. know if we need two weeks. No, we just need a week between meetings. Well, sometimes we push back. Right. And, and, and they have to make right. them read. And it has yeah, to we do it. Yeah. Oh, right. okay. I mean, we should just set the first meeting and not necessarily the second meeting because we won't know. Well, I'd like to do both. We'll change it if we need to. So make it three weeks? Well, no, I think two weeks is enough. So that would be the 20th? So August, no, I'm sorry. So the first meeting is August 5th. Okay. The second CPA. is the 19th. Okay. That's what I'm proposing. Okay. Not eight, assisting. Five, and CPA meeting eight. What was the second one? I'm sorry, that's Sundays. I'm sorry. It's the 6th yeah. and, and the 20th. 6th and the 20th. So we're going to have a CPA meeting on the 6th and a CPA meeting on the 20th. Yeah. And when are proposals due in? July 30th. Proposals due? 7.30 proposals meeting 8.6 and 8.20. Yeah. Proposals due 7.30. Okay, thank you. Does that seem okay for everybody? Works. Yeah? Sure. You achieve. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Do you want me to say more words? Further discussion? <laughs> no. No. No, I don't no we don't? No. no. I'm just setting in the agenda. Very well. Okay. Okay. So the 6th and the 20th. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But when is town meeting? It's not until the 18th. October 18th. October 18th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Town meeting, October 18th. That gives the Supreme Judicial Court plenty of time to mess up a That's right. <laughs> so that gives us basically a month 
to yeah. tweak everything yeah. before mm -hmm. their yeah. deadline. Right. Yeah. Their drop dead date. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, let's not get right here. Right. Right. All right. Well, that's good. Is that okay with you, David? Yeah, we have some questions about process. Oh, please. Doesn't the historical commission have to weigh in on some of these proposals if it's historical? Yes, they do. They have to take a formal vote, or they well, just well, well, you know what? It turns out we that have plenty of time to meet. Yeah, it turns out that they don't have to, but that's the way we like to do it. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows when the historical commission is planning to meet again, and if that, if the next meet, if it's going to work with this. We usually meet this second Tuesday of, I mean, the last Tuesday of the month. So, so that would work. So you got June and July. Right. Right. So and we August. said July 29th or whatever. Uh, well, that's July 30th. Well, I mean, if, if we have to say this hypothetical, the cemetery committee, the committee yeah. puts in a proposal by August, uh, by July 31st, that's the drop, that's the date you want it, July 30th. Yeah. You, want, yeah. you, want, you want an actual application, not, just, not yeah. just a conceptual proposal. You want something you can get, you sink your teeth in and Correct. look at. Right. Correct. So before that, then I have to go to the historical commission and get their blessing, I think, and that's that would mean sometime in July. You, you don't have to do it to, to do a proposal. You can do the proposal and get them to vote on it before. Oh, while well, you're reviewing it, as long yes. as it's before yes. town meeting. While we're reviewing. It. Okay. So like maybe the end of August. Okay, that's that gives us a little bit more. Yeah, reading and timeliness is perhaps the historical commission can have a. A special, a special meeting. meeting. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> you can't what? They've, they've usually been very cooperative. Yeah. So. <laughs> and sometimes they have a product of the quorum, too. Uh, yeah. We now have six members. Oh, are you one? Yes. Oh, great. Was... That's why I'm blabbing. Okay. How, many, <laughs> how many holdovers there are from the old historical commission? Maybe one. Ginger. Find. Ginger and, Mar and Marjorie Townsend. Well, the, the reason I'm asking is because the Historical Commission was very instrumental in setting up the historical district, setting the guidelines, and they brought it to the planning board, and we agree in concert that we present this to the town meeting. And the first variable that came in happened to be the senior sitter, and no one objected to what the historical commission proposed. So that's why there, you've lost your institutional memory or you don't that's care, so. Uh, the institutional memory. Okay. I don't know anything about that. I'm new. Uh -huh. <laughs> so in other words, we need to back up and do a few Well, it, either you care about it or you don't. Uh, so uh, the historical commission about the historical district. I don't know that the, his, well see, I've missed because of my head, mm -hmm. I can't go up stairs at town hall. Because the elevator is shut off in the evening. No. <laughs> no. It isn't? It didn't. One time I tried it, it didn't. <laughs> Look at the light. <laughs> well, it's not a discussion for here, but okay, we'll just, just to bring yeah. it to the people. Okay. Usually. All right. Uh -oh. All right. Uh, any further discussion on the um, schedule? No, nope. words for me. All right. All right. Um, where should we go next? Discussion of the CPA plan? Sure. Okay. Everybody signed in, correct? Yeah. Uh -huh. Larry, you're up. Okay. So, how would you like to do this? Come uh, forward, Larry. Do you have a copy of the draft? A proposal, or did Wait, I was able to bring it up? Did you bring a copy, Edwin? Uh, <laughs> you're lucky if I. That's that's one thing Andy the Andy believes in electronic trans uh, transmission. Well, well, Andy's the only one. Yeah. I, I trust you've all had a chance to read it. I've looked at. I'm speaking for myself, I read it. And Andy, and Andy's the only one I heard comments back from. I I read it. Yep. I went through it once, and then I went back, and I'm going to find two. So. I didn't finish going through fine tooth yet. I, look, I looked at the cook that I read our section. Thank you. Who cares about the rest? Hard huh? yeah. copies? I have one. Great. Thank you. Hard okay. copies, anybody? And this is this is primarily a draft? Or is this? No, this is a draft. Yeah. 
Anybody got one more? Thank you. Okay, good. I'm very disappointed that none of my photographs made it in. We can put in as many photographs. If you want to suck up to the chair, you definitely have to put some of these photographs in. So I, so I got your comments, Andy, but for some reason they don't print up when you print them. Oh, all right. I think so I remember them. I have the pages with the marks on them. Okay, great. Uh, that's fine. Okay. So it's pretty simply set up. Um, I mean, the various sec the various sections have talked about the various uh, interests, the various uh, pro pro uh, project categories, and each section has a little blurb on it about Hadley and uh, um, when they talk about open space. It talks about Hadley's open space and the like. Just one uh, the, the committee. Yep. The makeup of the committee. Yep. Uh, I haven't read the conflict of interest law, and this certainly is going to be uh, of some concern at, at our planning board meeting. I haven't read it more closely. Yep. It seems like uh, if Andy is on the uh, recreation committee, should he acknowledge that he is going to be a proponent for proposals that come regarding the recreation committee? Should he sit out or if, not? If it's a recreation committee project, Yes. they are doing, yes. he ought to recuse himself. If it's a recreation project that somebody else is doing, uh, no, he has no problem sitting on okay. it. Can I ask if we are representatives of those, those departments? Yeah. What, the, what is the, uh, if you're here to represent, uh, in my case, if you have Well, you were close by. But, well, uh, you, can, you can check with your town council on that. It, you know, nor excuse me. Yeah. Uh, normally, uh, the Conservation Commission is people come to the town town for sure. APRs. APRs are presented to this committee for the town's contribution to them. I'm on the conservation commission. Mm -hmm. Paulette is. Does that mean we have to recuse ourselves? But are you are the actual applicant, or is it the property owner who is obtaining the APR? It's the property owner. Correct. Right. Just like for park and rec, if a pre presentation is presented. It may not be Andy yep. that's right. presenting it, but it falls under the recreation category. But it's, but it's the that's park a different and rec. thing. There's a difference. There's anybody, you don't have to be a park and rec uh, member uh, to apply for a park and rec project. Okay, yeah. Okay. Right, but when I we apply, when the Conservation Commission applies for an APR, it's not the applicant applying for the funds from here, yeah. it's a conservation commission on behalf of the town for the matching funds. Well, then I think you need to talk to your town attorney about that. So, because we've never, and even when Alex typically when we done it, it, the applicant, the actual money has been the person who owns the land. We've never done it that way because, because they are in fact the ones who are the direct beneficiaries. Uh, we've never done that because it's town funds. <laughs> so, yeah. if it's town funds, being it's, it's a portion of town funds, right? But the there's a portion Usually, of state funds. Right. But some of it sometimes come out of, out of like the Conservation Commission, yep. like the Woodchuck Fund and this, so it's like it dual. Out of the, so. Yeah. 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 But we'll look at this. But I think you ought to check out to see who is the actual applicant. Um, the, the other issue. I mean, for instance, the Turk Park. Who was the actual applicant on that? Was it Park and Rec? Right. Park and Rec. Was it the Friends of the... Well, you have sponsoring mm -hmm. organizations which right. select board requests. So if the actual applicant in that case was yeah. the Friends of the Turk Park, then, and why couldn't the commission or the representative, you know, of course, right. really divulged as, as a, uh, mm -hmm. the, the commission's representative um, to advocate the project? And you could see if there was a recusal if I had a personal interest in the project, but I'm also an elected official for the representative. Okay, okay. here's an example we had at the planning board in uh, Southampton not too long ago. Um, somebody was applying for it. Um, one of the board members happened to work for the engineering firm who was working for the, for the applicant. The person on the planning board didn't work on the project, just happened to work for the same company. 
That's a little different. I right. Think. That's that's very yeah. different. I think. Oh, it's very I different. Think so. But I, I think, think that, that I think you're, you're looking being at employed by the person who's employed. Right. Who might be well, getting, again, talk, talk to your town attorney. Yeah, I think you have to be very careful about um, voting on a project within which you have a vested interest. But we don't have a vested a, because interest because, because we're be not receiving any funds. If I'm not receiving any funds, I don't have a vested interest in it. Right. So let's try to see if I can get it so, straight here. In the example Joe brought up, if being the Park Commission's representative to this board, and the Park Commission is advocating an applicant's uh, submission for CPA funds, yeah. I'm to recuse myself yeah. because I can't represent the interest of the board, then what's my point of being? Right. Uh, well, you know, it's, 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 it's clear right, Larry. Right. That's, that's because our building inspector make, has made several proposals. Yeah. Well, he, they asked me to do it. Well, he's going to be issuing the building permit. Yeah. So, but he but has no vested interest. Well, it is a little in, different, but I think we just right. have to be aware that there are potential sure. hazards right. in. Uh, I mean, and Park and Rec is a little unusual because you have very few, if any, Park and Rec programs or projects or facilities. Yeah, we better yeah. be careful with that. I mean, we have, yes, we're, right. we have, we're limited in facilities. Right. So, you know. But may, may I say that the, I spoke to the town attorney about this very issue, and there's Perfect. another component to it, which is this committee is not considered legally the controlling authority. Town meeting. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. right. Town, town meeting. Is, yeah. And so the conflict of interest laws are much looser because we do not vote yes or no on no, that's a good point. Okay. And so these arguments are interesting, but, but they don't apply to us. There you go. So you can still represent the park and rec. In fact, here. here. So if we get back, well, you're, you're so we're back, back, we can okay. get back to looking at the plan. Yeah. All right, so we so can go we through this and get to the page go. one. Go. Uh, we can start on page one. Yeah, I might as well. I mean, I've, like I said, yep. I read through it, and then I started going um, through it mm -hmm. with a fine tooth comb. And I'm looking at the language you're using at, at the first paragraph, sure. talking about. Um, what page? One. One. One, go back and one, look at it. Yep. Well, this is the kind of this is, this discussion is, we have to This have. is what you have to you get from me being trained as a uh, technical writer. So, all right, so as. Um, the sentence says, as such, it represents an informational document. First paragraph, second yep. paragraph, first, first paragraph. paragraph. Last, I think it's close to the last sentence. There's like as a such, yes. right in the middle. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, represents the uh, informational yeah, document yeah. for applicants seeking project funding through the CPA and a blueprint. I think blueprint okay, is too strong. There. As such, it represents an informational document to the citizens of the town. Did you want to take that out? No. Like, no, I, I like the informational document. Okay, a guideline for applicants yep. seeking project funding through the CPA. Yep. To and me, a blueprint is like something you follow exactly. Okay. And I don't think well, this... What, what, what word would you prefer to have on the uh, I don't know. Basically. It's better than on the back of the envelope, which we has been, have been right. given. This right, right, but... This is closer to what we want. If you got a better word, you can stick a better word in. Okay, I'll think about what, it. What if you just and left that out? And a guide. No, no. A guide. Well, I think guideline, which is... A guideline. Could be a guide. guide. Could be a guide. Guide. It's yeah. right there in the, in the preceding... Yeah. Uh, so we change blueprint to guideline? Or no, guide. So that guide. This guideline is not specific already. enough, though, for that. Because but it is a guide back, but for this committee. But I'm hoping it's a guideline. We want something more specific. But... As we've been told by Boston, we don't have to have a reason to turn down a project. We can right, say right. no. We can say and no so we if to. we That's say correct. blueprint and someone says, but you said you will fund all of these things. And we can say we don't want to fund it. Okay. Then so what's the what's the consensus? So that's that's my so thought. We, we got my, guy, my, 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 su my suggestion is that instead of going through it word by word right now, maybe we should have a general discussion, take it home, really look at it, and meet again. Sure. Okay. Good I'm point. done with this at the end of June. At the end of June. Yeah. I'm retiring, and the project's done. Okay. I've been trying to meet with you guys since March. Yes. Um, yes. Unsuccessfully. So at some point. 
Right. You got to go through this line by line. Right. 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 But should we do it to now? So I, <laughs> well, I, hopefully that's what <laughs> would have been happening first. between the time I tried to schedule the meeting and sent you the draft between then mm -hmm. and tonight. Well, we'll have to stay in during recess. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> that's all I can say. So we're looking for a word. Replace I, blueprint. I like Adequate plan. You can't use uh, guideline because it's used about six, eight words. Yeah, before. right. So, mm -hmm. document. Guideline yeah. for, a guideline for applicable plan A guideline for applicants and the CPA committee. There you go. Applicants seeking project funding through the CPA and the CPA committee. In making recommendations. Oh, I see. Just kind of uh, tie those two together. Oh, well, you're it doesn't taking, make sense. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to see whether that is problematic. Understand. As such, it represents an informational document for the citizens of the town, a yeah. guideline for applicants seeking project funding through the CPA, and this and future CPA committees making recommendations to town meeting for project funding. It's a long sentence, yeah. but. It works. So you're just tying the guideline to applicants. So what you tell me you just take out blueprint four. Right. Hmm. Yeah. That makes mm -hmm. sense? Sure. Okay. okay. And I would I would like to like acknowledge not only like town officials, but mm -hmm. kind of put like the boards, commissions, and officials because to me a town official are yeah, kind of like the, the elected, now? yeah, like elected people. I mean that's up to uh, that's just if we're looking at well, people. Are elected? No. Town officials. You know you've got. Look, look, doesn't that include elected board members? Well, I'm no? thinking town no. officials. You're thinking more like a town employee. No. no. Well, town officials to me are town employees. Okay. But we're unofficial. No, this is right. Town we're employees. We are. Okay. We're considered that. Yeah. I, I think okay. elected That's board members are considered to be town officials. Yes. But if you would like. But not everybody's elected. Most most of the people here are. Appointed. Well, whether they're elected or whether they're appointed. Right. Okay. Um, they are still serving capacity as a town official. Okay. But if you want to add something in there, that's fine. Okay. It's up to everybody else. No, I need it. Okay. Yeah, I think that basically boilerplate. You're just okay. patting the patting the people on the back. Yep. Yep. And the next is you're okay. patting yourself on the back. The next paragraph. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then I just had a question on the last bullet. Sure. Um, last bullet. Oh, sorry. On that uh, page. On that page yep. Yep. It says to provide the select board in town meeting with the background information they need. Why do we? Have why are we the providing select. the select board the information and not just town meeting? Mm. Okay, we take select board out. Because it's because really it's it's town meeting who's voting. Mm -hmm. So we'll say to provide town meeting, town meeting. take the select board yeah. in and out. Okay. Right. Doesn't this committee go to the select board? Nope. We never do. Nope. We don't have to say never. Us. Well, select board comes to us for funding. I, I know, but. We have a good and I went and we, okay. we, we talked about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, Paulette, well, you got the. Okay, well, page two, mm -hmm. is it significant mm -hmm. state matching funds? Because I, I, we've used seen be. them all going. It well, and that's where I would just say take significant out and just say state matching funds okay. because we've seen them go down and down and down. And uh, I don't so think this they're. Is state match. Yep, under state match. Yeah. Page two for uh, first paragraph yep. under state match. And then if you go down one, two, three paragraphs below that, mm -hmm. where top third line down, it says CPA funds that are not expended in one year, mm -hmm. or actually the line above that, sorry. Okay. Three main purposes. Isn't it open space slash recreation? Um, mm -hmm. Now it is. Okay, so we should say. Yeah, because it used to be recreation had to come out of your right. general. Right. right. So yeah, now it, it wasn't a, even though it was a permitted category, it didn't yeah. get to set aside. Yeah. Okay, so it's open on. space slash recreation. Just to, yeah. Okay. Historic sort of resources. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And 
then we should take out the third line up from that paragraph at the bottom there, as well as for recreational uses? Well, I have a question. CPA funds that are not expended, expended, is that the same as appropriated? No, it's money, yeah. that's what, it's been appropriated, but it wasn't spent. Right, because we we've, we've yeah. been putting in our pair in most of our permits that the money has to be spent within two years. Yeah, that's fine. So. But if and if the money isn't spent, what happens? We don't know. Well, in the it, past, it goes back. It's it stays in. Yeah. Um, in the past, we had town meeting vote to return it to the general fund. Is that right? To the CPA fund. It goes to the CPA fund. Yeah. And it goes right, back into right. the debt. If, if it was if out of the 10%, right. it goes back into the 10%. Right. If it was out of the 70%, it goes back into the right. 70%. If it was out of historical, it's got to go back right. into so, the yeah. historical. The CPA coalition said that different towns do it differently. Some CPA committees just vote to absorb their money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so so we some, should discuss how we want to. Some to towns that. don't go to town meeting to take the money back. Right. It just, that just happens. Automatically. Yeah, automatically. But if that's I what the process is in Hadley, then yeah. you follow that process. Well, I, I think I we would have should. to write it into the yeah. the permit if we didn't want to go back to town meeting. I think but town is, meeting being the ultimate authority, then town right. meeting right. needs but, to be but, the ultimate yeah. authority with giving the money back. Right. Yeah, we have a cleanup article in every town meeting. Why, right. You know, so anything yeah. that's not used for productive. That's fine. You scoop it back, CPA money yeah. or whatever. Because that's where you want it to go. Otherwise, you know, it stays out there dedicated for that project. Yeah, we have it's outstanding. We have it. outstanding checks, for lack of a better term. It's yeah. like when you're balancing your checkbook and the state doesn't cash a mm -hmm. check, and you're carrying it for month and month and month. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you guys have a meeting about this? <laughs> yeah, I met with uh, David and the town. Uh, town I, I couldn't be there, but I'd love to hear yeah. what you guys talked about. And yeah. Well, maybe when we get through so, this, we can <laughs> talk about that. Okay. Okay. So, but what we talked about there is in this. Okay. That this is what we talked about. All right, so then if you go down a couple more lines where we say um, it's actually the third line up from the bottom, mm -hmm. um, the town's discretion, and it says for one or more four, four purposes, the three listed above is well for recreational use. So mm -hmm. I think that line, mm -hmm. that section could come out. We don't need that yeah. now. Right. So let's see, so where do we want to start? The Disc cut. Well, you made sure saying discretion. The bill will include the, the, one of the Yeah, leave it after discretion, take it out. That's right. Are you sure you want to do that now and leave it after the four purposes? Well, it's three purposes. Actually, because open space recreation is now includes right. that. That's true. So if we said three purposes listed above. So we take yeah. out one or more of the three for one or more one or more of the three purposes listed above period and then take out as well as recreation use okay so the period goes after above yeah yeah okay that's good All right. um, I had a comment on page three about the one way plan committee Okay, before we get to that, oh, sorry. Um, what I would like to see, because I'm looking out for you yep. at this point. Here All right, go, uh, okay. first paragraph. Are on page three now? Yep. Okay. First paragraph, the last sentence, for more information, please contact the committee chair, yep. which is talking about gifts and taxes and stuff like that. Personally, I would prefer to see a link to some reference in the law and not say, call Andy, hey Andy, how, how can I make this a tax deductible donation? Mm. Which well, is then not- Well, Andy can say. Right, but well, well, I actually agree with you. I, I am hesitant in any document, even on a website, to give a particular board member's private email right. address yeah. or private right. phone number. Right. Um, and that this is one of the things we did talk about uh, with Dave. And uh, I, which I is, you know, you are a town entity. A town mm -hmm. board or a town commission, um, and uh, as such, I think yeah, I don't say you have to start acting like it, but I think uh, well, one, one of the things we talked about, for example, was you need a file cabinet. Yeah. In town hall. 
No. We don't have an office in town hall. Well, you need a file cabinet in town hall. You can't be keeping town public records mm -hmm. in your individual homes in your garage. We all talked about that. Yeah. We'd like to have a well, room. That's one thing we, we did talk about. We did. And, and, and uh, come to me and I will make it all happen. You yeah. got a room for us? I got a room Somewhere? for you. Somewhere? All right. Such a beautiful room. <laughs> down in the basement. Do you have a view? <laughs> 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 You've never seen a room like this. So it's going to be amazing. And you got a bridge to stuff on that too, room. right? Okay. All right, so, the so well, hold on. in the page two, what, the can very, just very talk? first sentence that has to kind of keep it structured, can we kind of finish one okay. thing before yep. we move on to the next? Right. Well, this okay. should go before the next. This well, is that same thing, four to three. Okay, let's talk about that. Wait, what are you sorry, looking at? Just, we're going back very to... The very first okay. sentence on our gifts to community preservation. Yep. For, specific, for second okay. line, specific oh, I see. purposes, just three, 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 three yeah. open space slash recreation. For the three. Yeah. Okay. That's all. It's just. Yep. Nope. Okay. Good. You're right. Uh, no. Be consistent. And either either make a reference to something or end it there. <laughs> uh, you mean end it after code? Right. Uh, let's end it after code. Um, because. I mean, well, what I would suggest, and this is where I was going with this, is not only do you need the final cabinet in the office, um, you need access to your website because um, all of this information sort of should be on your website. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, I mean, if, there, if you're gonna, and I agree with you, you should have a link to that information, but it yeah. should be from the, the website right. that you go to, not having to call your, right. your chair. Right. That's because I, I don't want. To, no, I, I, depending on, I mean, yeah. I'm sure Joe's retired. He wouldn't mind sending calls for. <laughs> Well, the planning board yeah. accepts calls. We, to, we accept calls, so. Uh, I know. Yeah. And I, I'll take calls too, but I'm not a lawyer, and I'm not going to give out legal advice. Well, you say, right. you, right. you, know, you say, look, that's a legal right. question. Yeah. I, I agree. I think we should just uh, take that last sentence out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, Edwin, you you got the next one. Which one? Uh, I'm sorry. Long range planning. Long range planning committee. Cross no, that one out. I can't cross that out. Because, because it's in your bylaw. It's if you want to take it off, take it out of your bylaw. Which bylaw? Your bylaw that says you create CP. your CPA right. committee. So My bylaw, there it is. We say uh, when a planning anything. board designates and long range planning. No, I mean this is the, this is verbatim, word for word, right. which is which is what it's so in your bylaw. When in terms of what makes up your he he ducked out, but when the select board went to town meeting to dissolve the long range right. planning committee, they, should have changed they that didn't bylaw. look oh. and see that the long range That's planning right. committee right. is in bylaws saying they are appointed members. Well, it, and I they brought didn't that say, up to. I think it was purposely put in there because. <laughs> There was a the long range planning implementation committee was like planning board number right, two. Right. But I guess I think the point is if you, I, I, I have no problem with you taking that out, but you can't take it out. Until, it's part of your right. bylaw. Yeah. Right. Right. So leave it in. So yeah. it's got to stay in yeah. until and it might come the bylaws back again. Change. It might come back again. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Right. right. And can we say no staffing at this time? <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> oh, that was the other thing we talked about. I don't know if you want to talk about that now or not. Um, where, uh, where are we? There's no staff about the staff, is, which is, is we talked about this earlier. If you're not the poster child children for needing to spend some of your admin money to hire a part time uh, clerical assistant, uh, nobody is. Uh, <laughs> So should that Being Eastern European. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm feeling sorry. I mean, on I that. mean you, you, you should have some, but, but I mean, your, your records are, are uh, your financial records. We spent over half our time trying to pull your the fiscal materials. Well, we're going to have a full time uh, financial officer. That's not going to do it. But, you, but you need somebody. You're right. You're absolutely right. You need correct. somebody to put your files in order. Right. You need somebody to take your minutes. I mean, you're, you're behind in the minutes, and no. should be behind in the minutes. Uh, but you still, I mean, this is what, this is why you have that admin money. Right. Um, is to hire somebody to come in and lift the load. Because mm -hmm. you can't expect however many number of well-meaning and well-intentioned unpaid volunteers to put in a whole lot of time. And I know, Edwin, when you were the chair, it was a one, you know, it was a tremendous Burden that it fell on you. Yep. Uh, and mm -hmm. and it's now it's fallen on him. Well, uh, how come you didn't mention that to the planning board? 
Uh, actually, that's part of your, that's, that is in your master plan. Right, so, and I guess. So, so it's just, and, and I talked about this with Stuart. Uh, and Stuart's history with you goes back a lot farther than mine does. Yep. And. Uh, it does. Uh, we had, because the previous chairman was retired and he could put the time in. Yeah. Right. And yeah. it's turning out that the successive chairmen yeah. aren't retired and we got a living to make yeah. more capital. I remember you, you, you maybe remember earlier on, I sent you an email asking for various information. And probably 90% of it was, you know, don't have it, don't have it, don't have it. Not, not to just do that, you don't have it pulled together. Right, right, right. And so it's a matter of uh, uh, having a, a staff person who's responsible for doing that. Right. And so do you want to take that order. sentence out? Well, no, you haven't done it yet. Staffing assistant. You haven't done it yet. No, I want to say at this time. I have no problem we, with that. We could have staffing in the future. Yeah. So we can add at this time? Is that yeah. reasonable? I mean, that's, sure. That's, Where are we now? I mean, I'm lost. This uh, is page, right uh, under the last bullet. Page three. For the, for the, page uh, three. It starts with all CPC members serve well, for three years. It depends yeah. on when this is adopted. If we, it, we probably won't have this. This will be adopted before you have a right. staff. Right, you think so? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we want you to be the staff. No, oh, yeah. You're supposed to know that. Well, I mean, yeah, no, I mean, so, we're going to start. Because, I mean, if it, if it, if well, we're supposed to have a real, every time we have an election of a chairman, yeah. vice chairman, recording yeah. secretary, and after usually the town election, yeah. Yeah. I mean, then mm -hmm. they vote. He usually, has a member of the planning board, in, so. In June, they usually vote their. Uh, no, we usually yeah. vote after the town election. Well, no, the select board you're talking member, about. Yeah, because I'm up for reappointment. Steve's up for reappointment for mm -hmm. Conscom. I'm on. I'm on. I got yeah, you're, you're good. Yeah, I mean, it started out the, the, the first year. You know, some people got one year, some people got two years, some people got three years. So and then, then, then there was three years' term. So there's always something going on. Some polls. Yeah, you're right. All right, so page three, number two, second line. Um, well, wait a yep. minute. Number one, update the plan yearly. Yep. yep. Uh, that's You're supposed that's, to. And and once you have that's a plan, one. it's not hard to no. update it. And the updating, especially if you have an electronic version, it's not hard right. to update. And the updating it. might just be changing the date. Or the numbers. On the front of it. Or okay. the numbers um, in the table. Yeah. And, and, I mean that's. Yeah. That's because, not because right. the most part. Your plan is a framework that you're using. Right. To judge and evaluate applications to determine which ones you want to fund and which ones you don't, okay. and that probably is not going to change that much from year to year. Right. <laughs> and okay, so line two or number two, the second line, that, and this is everybody can chime in. Mm -hmm. I'd say I want to say instead of collects, accepts and reviews proposals. That's fine. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then should town meeting, because it's an official entity, be capitalized? Yeah, it usually is. Okay. Where so is there's that? two last, line. last line and line, line second to last line. Did we eliminate the long range planning committee? No, no we can't. We can't. Because and it's in the bylaw you, you take, creating the You have to take it out of your bylaw. CPA. So the CPA has to the bylaw for the CPA has to be amended to remove it. And that's what yeah. we were saying. When the select board decided to pull it, they didn't realize that there was another bylaw that required a member from that committee. Yeah. They basically are violating your CPA, by your law. CPC bylaw. Right. right. But it's, so what you do is you go in and you change the bylaw to pull it out of there. Okay. Right. All right. Well, that was also one of the, your other comments, and he was at the top of the page where it says Hadley Community Preservation Plan. I think you struck Hadley. Why? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. I'm why. sorry, I was writing while you were talking. Oh. Uh, on page three. At the top, this is actually on page one. Oh. At the top, in the header. It might have been my accident. Oh, okay. You had struck Hadley. It's just. I, it was, I was trying to figure out how to get the. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Technology. Oh, very good. <laughs> yeah. That's very good. Okay. So the table on page four. And we have a new table. We have a new table. With updated okay. numbers. Okay. Because I, I, I was going to say, all, all right, so what I was going to say is where 
the first block in the last column says over that many acres. I was going to say just take out the over and say. Well, whatever. actually, I was going to take that entire column out because it doesn't okay. say a whole lot. Okay. Okay. Which is. Yeah. Is that okay? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But would it, uh, if people want to know how many acres, do we have that somewhere else in here? You have. We do. I, we had another table, right? You, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. The big one at well, right. Yeah, and I updated those as well. Okay, uh, so that um, my so. question on that page was, do these numbers account for the most recent projects that were in? Do they include? They don't, okay. they don't include this spring's town meeting. Okay, so we need to make a note of that. Yeah. Okay. As and of, then, as all, of the, this all the financial numbers are as of. Okay, um, but does that FY include 17. stuff that was re Well, that, it's, FY, it's halfway through FY18. So that includes everything that was um, taken out that was returned to, no. not just things no, so that, that hasn't happened yet. That okay. hasn't happened yet. We have. It's also kind of a funky number because it really doesn't include your local uh, assessment. Okay. So is this truly as of the end of fiscal year 2019? No. That's the time. Yeah. So where is this? The end of fiscal year. I mean, we, can, we can do two things. We can either lop off 18 entirely, since 18 is incomplete. So, so as of January 1st, uh, I think the actual date January was, uh, I think I had five, I think I actually had a better date than that. What if we just say CPA funds for 74 project, approximate, well, for 74 mm -hmm. projects as of whatever date? December 2017. Right. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah. I think so that's fair. as of? December 21st or December 2017. We'll just say 12, yeah, we we'll we'll, to get 17. Yeah, okay, we'll take out FY18. Mm -hmm. That's the next one. Yeah. <coughs> so that's in like 14 years. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's pretty good. You've got a lot. Yeah. You can, and we still have a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, and these numbers are close, it's just I've updated them because uh, they weren't. Well, sometimes your recreation fell under general and sometimes it falls under open space and it was just like paul had mentioned some of the money for aprs would take on a woodchuck fund and cpa and, so we, that, and we don't count the woodchuck fund right we just right. count the cpa right right right, right. So, but so, oddly uh and we had, and that's one of the reason we met with david and uh justin was there were a number of it was prior to david you made sure he pointed out uh the town meeting warrants didn't specify which pot it came out of. Mm -hmm. It was supposed but, to. But and it, it did. It, it does did. now. It did on the application. It does now. But it, it does, does now. It did on the yeah. application. And it should stuff. say that. Maybe not on the right. early one. Yeah. In it, the it's like playing in the first couple of years. Right. Okay. And so it was yeah. trying to figure out whether it was a historical project or did it actually come out of the 10% or did it come out of the 70%. Well, right. So we, we, we went back to trying to figure out where in fact the fiscal year money came from. Right. Well, okay. we've, we've been, I mean, now we've taken care of that. A while ago, I was working with Edwin on yeah. organizing the files, and then yeah. I was out of commission all last summer, so that kind of threw sure. me away. And I have said that right. I would give. But, but just keep in mind, just because it's on the application, it's what's right. on the warrant, because that's what right. the town meeting actually votes on. Right. Correct. So David's been doing since he's been here doing a great job of all your warrant articles very clear in terms of which pot. Of money that comes from. He charges us for it too. Administration. <laughs> well, no lawyer fees. Um, so since open space and recreation are one yep. category, yep. I'm surprised that they separated there. Because they, did, they, they they didn't they used to be. Right. For a while. Because yeah. recreation used to come out yeah, of the general money. fund. They had a lot of money. Yep versus oh, now it's open mm -hmm. space slash recreation. So now any recreation project. Well, so you're, you guys are okay with keeping that separate? Well, for I a think long so. time and a lot of money, it was, they were very separate. So right. If you take a look at it. Five projects. Uh, for, for the recreation, you know, 125,000 came out of the 10% open space. 750,000 came out of the general. So clearly, right. you know, the bulk of it was coming out of right. the 70%. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. okay, so I had a couple questions on these because it kind of goes back and forth between page five and six mm -hmm. as to what's allowed 
and then you go to what's not allowed, and then you go back to what's allowed. Okay. So if we can put everything like allowed. So where where specifically well, where is that? We go through what's allowed here. We're on page uh, five, right? Page five, the yep. first three bullets. Yep. And you say it can be used for these things, the next four yep. bullets. Seven. Yeah, and, and the then. And you can't use it for this. Right, and then you right. on page six, you've got the. Oh, products in other communities. Uh, may not be used for. If I look in page six, the fourth bullet down. Fourth bullet down. These are things that it can't be used for. Okay. Yeah. But then you go into things that it can be used for again, okay, like where? committee costs, incidental, are those or are those items that it can't be used for? No. No, that's different. So, so projects in other communities we can use it for. Yeah. But it's under the you can't use it for. You see what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, but that's sort of the difference between otherwise lights, light lights, and. But Bold otherwise, it should have another yeah. title like other uses, some, something like that. That's where I was kind of looking at it. And well, maybe what we need to do is move the committee costs up to the community preservation act funds. They only be used. They also be used. Yes, the that's purposes. that's what I was saying. If we could move those we'll, we'll, things, so you can put it up as a bullet. Right. Okay, so you can move this up as a bullet. Yep. Um, incidental project And actually, costs. the committee cost is already down the next to last bullet on page five. You're right. So we can take that out entirely. Yeah. Okay. And then the uh, incidental, incidental cost, cost we is move up actually there? the third bullet at the top. Third bullet at the top. I okay. mean, it's, it's a little action. more extensive, but it's... You could probably take the third bullet out and make this. I think I would put this out. in place of the third right. bullet. Yeah. That works. And then. Then on page seven, we're back to no. And then projects in other communities. Um, is there anything mm -hmm. like a statute that says that? Because that's a heated issue in. No. Badly. No. So it the, just, it, okay. it's it's actually, that we had that with the right. with the I know. courthouse. Yep. It can be spent but, in any town. But didn't, they ask, but didn't they ask for this much and you gave them this much? Yeah. Well, we didn't ask for the courthouse. The courthouse we didn't. Smith Charities. Yeah, yeah. Smith Charities. Yeah. That's what it was. Right. right. Smith Charities. Uh, I mean, you can use it. It's That's in there. It's in the law. Yeah. That okay. has to be put here. You can't right. change it. Yeah. And then the leveraging of CPA funds should actually go up to that second bullet at the top of the page. Local the share local for state share. and federal grants. Uh, okay, so projects in other communities, we're going to move up yep. to a bullet. Yep. And then and we're then going to take leveraging CPA funds and, and move that at number two? I think so. Because it's, it's saying pretty much the same thing. Okay. And then, and then if no maintenance and no supplanting stays with the you can't use it. Right. Right. Okay. Yep. And then if we just look yeah. back. On, on the no maintenance, do we want to mention everything? Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, it depends. I'm sorry. Did I check <laughs> what was that? Painting. <laughs> what? Okay. I, at, at our last meeting, I was under the impression that we were sort of changing our mind about painting, which was that no. we, we, no. we might, well, this is my impression, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, that we might pay for painting once if the building was in was had been neglected. If it needed total restoration, but after that it was but up to them the to maintain. Time. Right. I'm, I'm still hoping in another is a restoration project versus the you know the maintenance project. Well, well restoration would be a one time deal. Like we paid for town hall to be painted. Right. They didn't it's just, it's just the way they, they did. didn't <laughs> they didn't keep up with the maintenance on it. Yeah. So then they're coming back saying, well, we need to paint it again. And we're saying, you told us you were going to allocate Painting funds for maintenance. maintenance. Painting is maintenance. Or right. You paint a house. You maintain, so you know. the one-time restoration. So I'm I, I agree. Yeah. You say pay, painting is part of a restoration project. Right. Right. But not but, but not every 10 five years, years later. Right. So, so I'm right. saying, you don't, I don't know if you want to even call that 
Right. So I don't think you want to. No, I think you deal with it if they come in. Yeah. Yeah. And, all right, so then if we can, sorry, go back to page five. Mm -hmm. If we can, um, like, put the, on the first bullet, like bold, <coughs> that first sentence there, acquisition, creation, and preservation of open space, because that's kind of the crux of it, and then oh, the rest oh, of oh, it, layout. right, Very and then the rest of it kind of describes <coughs> it. So you want the first... So like the first sentence of each of these bullets should be bolded, I'm thinking of. The acquisition, creation, and preservation of open space. Because if, if you're flipping through a plan, you're going to look for the bold things. Yeah. And then if you want more information about it, it's there. So for, and then the acquisition, yeah. creation, support of community housing. And at the bottom of that paragraph, it should be Hadley, not Canton. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I've seen that before, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, yep. Let's see. Now, do we want to know when it says uh, no maintenance? All right. Hang yeah. On. Hang on. As determined by. All right. Well, wait a minute. I'm not done. Yeah. No. Let's well, see. Okay. okay. So, and then in between the third and the fourth bullet, I would kind of think to bold may also be used for just kind of say these are other uses what, where are you, where are you doing um, uh, page five in between the third and the fourth bullet it says community preservation act funds may also be used for the following purposes if we're going to bold that which i don't have a problem with and i think we also want to bold the community preservation act may not be spent okay for. Yep. Right. Yeah. But shouldn't that part be next to the last two paragraphs on page seven? Because they're the last two paragraphs on page seven are being moved up as bullets. Oh, yeah. right. Right. Okay. All right. So shouldn't historical um, preservation be separate bullets? Because first you have open space and community housing, then recreational use. This is on page five of what it can be used for. It seems to me that historical preservation should be a separate bullet. I agree. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in it for, about historic? Well, the CPA writes historical resources. Oh, historical. okay. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. right. I think so that, that should be, be its own bullet. Yeah. And then that would be underlined or in bold. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And what exactly is the revenue set aside for later spending? Where do we uh, Right down here, in between the, Where? here. Uh, page page five. five. Oh, revenue set aside for later spending. One, two, the third bullet point up from yep. the bottom. Yeah. What does that mean? Let's see. Because if somebody asks me, I'd like to know what <laughs> I could tell them what that means. Sorry. Right here. Revenue set aside for later. So maybe spending. it's uh, like for a park, but it can't be started until two years from now or something. I think it's more along the lines of you don't have to spend out your 10, 10, 10, 70 every year, and you can keep that in that pot and build it up. I thought which we I, had to do 10, 10, 10, 10 every year. Well, no, you, you, don't you don't have to sell. spend it. You don't have to spend right, it. Right. Okay. Just have to, you have to just approach okay, it. Okay, so that's, you know, all right. So that's what, what hasn't been spent. Yes. It just, okay. Yeah. That's all I, well, why don't yes. we allocate would be a better word, wouldn't it? Well, no, because I haven't, you know, I'm not sure, is allocate the right word? Allocate to me is for a specific project. Correct. Allocate okay. to me is appropriate. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. It's Confirmed, right? So, mm -hmm. the is your set aside. Well, it's, but it's not really a set aside, it is an allocation. You, there's right. supposed you, to be you've dedicated it to a project. But you're not. But they, but they yeah, and, and they actually do that on paper. <coughs> actually, I'm going to sure they do that here on paper. As opposed to setting up an actual account. Like it's it's on. Yeah. It's going to take all night. Should we spend all night meeting for the rest of this? Uh, yeah, I think that we should have read this first. <laughs> <laughs> 
Or read it better. Right. Or up to page six. Um, <laughs> out of. And then the next bullet under that, I think I wrote that that's a, there's a repeat. Okay, that's the repeat on page six. So those just needed to uh, which one be combined. Is that? The administration fee not to exceed 5%. Oh, yes. We, so that's we're taking that, out, that other one out. We're yeah. That in. Yeah. Yeah. Is this in the act because uh, annual pr principal and interest payments, preparation, Oof. insurance, and marketing costs for bonds or notes for borrowing for community yeah. preservation? Is that in the act yeah. itself? Yeah. Do we have you, to put it in there? Because that's you can do been it. a hot topic. You can do it. You don't have to do it. Towns have done it. Okay. But it is, that is something that you, you can do. Because right. Mr. Nixon came to us with this grand proposal. Yeah for like 15 years, um, basically taking all of our funds. Well, towns have done that. Towns right. have, towns have done borrowed that. against right. it for 10 and years to buy open space. Right, and Amherst does that all the time. And they, uh, right. yeah. Hadley you know, they, said, they mortgage there. we don't feel comfortable yeah. that, that's, that's fine. Right. Okay, so that's in uh, there. What I'm trying to figure out uh, it says it may be is, is, right. is, your, is your interest, is the interest you earn split with the 10 10 set 10 10 10 set. no it general. goes in a general fund are you sure about that yeah. I don't that, really that's think, what we've been doing i know that's what you've been yeah. doing i don't know that that makes well because when we get when we get reimbursed from the state right we get a a check right that's it not you get a check we don't, don't get four checks that's correct so and they say, well, this is your CPA check. Here right. you go. Okay, but now and now we take and now we take and allocate it into put it. But in now your seventy percent is greater than seventy percent. We don't know. Let's just say I don't. I don't. I don't know the answer to that. It, 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 I would have probably taken and gone 10, 10, 10, 70. Just. And what do you do with the rest? To keep it. There is no. But ten, see, ten, ten, when, ten, when seven, in the spring, we don't, we, well, we don't know what we get for interest until after right, the fact. Right, because yeah. the he's, money he's is allocated that, that, was a con, that was a conversation I had, had with Justice, he's, which he's is, what do, how do we do with that? Right. right. And uh, he, quite frankly, didn't know. And neither yeah. did I. We, uh, we just, lot of, probably a lot of, but it just seemed to me on. that it would, you would have distributed it like you right. do all the rest of the money. That usually mm -hmm. goes into the general fund. General fund. And then because the funds are allocated in the spring, right. and we don't get interest until the well, fall, and we have to go back thing. to town meeting Which is and why, say, you know, like yeah. 40 bucks here, 30 bucks there, 20 bucks there, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. For what? To allocate the interest. Well, I guess I might, I, that's another question I had that Justin and I were talking about, which was there's always at the annual meeting, uh, appropriation for thirty thousand dollars for the open space. Thirty thousand. Mm -hmm. Why do you do that? I can understand that's that, the law. Can, that was that's what we were led to believe that the law said that we. But you still to have to go to town meeting for the for, for the appropriation for the specific project. Right. Right. So what? Right. So it what? Won't be fifty percent because then we know how <laughs> much money is in each fund. But you can know that without having to actually have a town meeting appropriation. It and also, you know, I, I have not seen that done. Well, I think it's more for accounting mm. because uh, we don't do that. No, no, we would need to because you've got to go to town meeting for the full appropriation anyway. Right. But uh, that uh, I, I do understand why you would do that for for your admin because you, you, you want to X amount of dollars in a particular fund to spend. Yeah. So you could, you, I mean, to to Edmund's point, you could say, well, we have well, you can't really spend eighty thousand dollars in this fund. To go to this project, right, and at but, town meeting for the appropriation vote, but that wouldn't show up in the thirty thousand dollar routine article that you vote on every year. Because right. we and, also combine it with the, given the CPA has authority to expend the money, and also we're putting this money into these certain accounts. Right. I it's, think it's we do it and. just so that, for our purposes yeah. of accounting, so that we know. We didn't like historical right now, and housing has a boatload of money in there. Yes. And if that was just sitting in the general fund. But it's not. It's no. Sitting, it's, sitting right, in, but, it's sitting on a spreadsheet. But it should be sitting on a spreadsheet. But yeah. somebody. Which, which we have here. Right. right. Um, Thank you. Anyway, just think about that, because right. it just doesn't make sense to me. I do understand why you would do that for yeah. your uh, admin, right. because you've got to pay for your admin right. bills over the course of the year. But where you have to go back 
to town meeting for a specific appropriate for a project anyway, you know, whether that $30,000 is sitting there or not. Well, that's just an accounting. Uh, that's an accounting. And the $30,000 isn't really the true amount of what your 10% does. does no, it's it really live in four different accounts or is it just in one? I don't know. On a spreadsheet, no, it's four different accounts. Because yeah, three, three accounts. Or no, four. Three You've got general, general, open space, 10, recreation. 10, 10, yeah. Well, it's recreation slash. Right. Recreation, open space, four. housing, historical, yeah. and, and general. 70% less yeah. left. Right. 10, 10, 10. 10. Right, and then right. 70. Right, right, right. So that's why we put more money in them this last town meeting. Because it was because 10, it occurred uh, to me that it's 10%. <laughs> yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we, we, have, we, we have some harder <laughs> yeah. numbers. That, uh, right. Yeah. But I, I think the, it, we, okay. we did it because it's an people. Thing. Because well, people would look at it and go, oh, look at all this money in the general account. They don't necessarily have but they won't a spreadsheet. See, right, but they won't see. But that doesn't tell them the money in the general account. That just tells them 30, 30, 30, 10. 10. Yeah, whatever your, your admin is. But then on our, spre on our spreadsheet, we, on have, your that spreadsheet. we yeah. have that breakdown. Absolutely. And then that gives us the checks and balances yep. to make sure accounting yes um has and everything you're saying things. makes total sense but has nothing to do right with that vote that you do every year anyway i just kept coming yeah. across that okay well, and i tried I to figure out and i haven't got a good answer yet yeah. why the more time we can that. save town meeting the better yeah mm -hmm. I, well i think mm -hmm. we did it because we want we'll people to know that we're being accountable and we want people we wanted you know mm -hmm. town meeting to know that this is where the money is going right and I, I think it was that, more that's of, as good as the explanation as anything. of us saying, we're not hoarding this money. We're telling you this amount of money is going into each of these funds. Correct. Not just on paper. I have a question. Want it to officially you you have talked about interest. Yeah. I mean, the interest rate's so low right yeah. now. Why would we worry about that? Well, because it's not a lot $1.7 million, dollars and 1% of yeah. $1.7 million is... Okay. What, $17,000? $17,000. That's not nothing. Well, it adds up. Yeah, it adds yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. The billion here, billion is here. Is it just so a checking total. account that this money goes in, or what? No, it's the CPA account. It's not what a checking account. What was that? Well, what was that? A savings account? I'm afraid, I don't know if we know. Oh. You know, we mm -hmm. get the printout from the town treasurer, and it has all these different The town numbers. treasurer manages the money. Yeah. And that's how yeah. I know yeah. what's in there. And you don't know whether it's so a checking account or a savings account or, Correct. Uh, or bonds. It's supposed or to be just an interest record. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Interest yeah. Interest yeah. Interest yeah. Interest yeah. Interest yeah. Interest, right? Yeah. 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 Checking accounts sometimes have interest. Well, they do, but that's not <laughs> really what it's telling you. No. So yeah. once the money is appropriated, does that leave our responsibility? Yeah. By statute, yes. I think I sent you all an email on that. Right. I'm sure right. you are all that, thrilled to read. Important, um, well, but, 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 I'm going to say but, okay? By right. statute, I, you didn't, I was going <laughs> to. By statute, that's where it stops. However. Okay? <laughs> some towns do it differently. Okay, some towns have an arrangement. Uh, but those towns, as I said in my email, have the administrative capacity to do it. Um, but we've never had bills held up for more than 30 days. Well, then because you are not hearing what I'm hearing. Really? I'm, yes, because I'm hearing that's a big problem. It is not a big problem. And it hasn't been a big problem. It has not been a big problem. Excuse me. Really? In fact, you are being notified as a courtesy that those bills are there, but those bills are being paid whether you sign off on them or not. Okay, so here's and, my and question. The, the problem that's, being, that's, that's okay, not that significant. And the pro it is not significant because basically, you know, 30 days it starts getting interest penalties uh, to it if you don't pay it. No, uh, it doesn't because we're we're reimbursing people or they're giving us a bill. Nobody's ever given us a interest on a bill. These aren't these are like it's because your town administrator is paying. If you're willing, okay, so I mean, if you're willing to meet some other on a more regular basis than you do, which and I found it's very difficult to get you to meet, uh, to get a quorum, because that's what you have to do right. if you're going to be approving okay. a bill. Uh, but typically, there's nothing in the statute that requires you to approve okay. any bill. So I'm going to, hang yeah. on, I, I just need to jump on this because sure. town administrator is giving you a, a, a line. Well, I'm because, sorry you left. I know, because <laughs> as soon as a bill comes in, yeah. and this is how it's always happened, is it? 
a call goes to Edwin or to Andy. Yep. This is how it used to go, either to Joe, I don't know if they're doing this, all right? He has, a, he has a standard email. He's so met. they get notification that a bill came in. Yep. They, they sit down with the treasurer and they look at it and say, does are these funds being spent on CPA approved items? Yep. If he is approving things that are not part of the CPA, yep. Because we've asked people for but, detailed breakdowns. Sure, but keep in mind, technically, you're, unless you've got some other arrangement set up with your chief elected officials, which would be your board of selectmen and your town administrator, your deal ends as of your recommendation to town meeting. So, if you so want to have that is, extra level of scrutiny, then that's something you've got to work out with them administratively. And, and what you're describing is not what's been happening. Okay, but that, that's, that, has, that been has been happening with Joe and Edwin. Yeah. So right. not according to but that's not other that's been people. I would, yes, I would, I would want to. And, and it shouldn't be just the chairman. The chairman is not authorized. It's the, the board. The board has authorized the, the chairman, chairman and, and the treasurer, the treasurer yeah. to sign off and well, say whether or not the funds ex being expended yeah. meet the CPA because our right. charge But if you is don't to have the authority to do that, you can write whatever you want on a piece of paper. But if the permit says funds... I'm not funds sure that the law doesn't I'm telling say you, the that. law, and I talked to Stewart, Stewart agreed, everybody I've had to take a look at this has agreed. But you if look at the statute, your, the statute ends with okay. your But if the permit says... Funds can only be expended per the Community Preservation Act requirements. Yep. Who is verifying? That's what these guys were doing. Who they were verifying, verifying it? it. The town manager. He's not the, verifying. He has no clue what he can be spent the, on. Look, I'm telling you, unless <laughs> yeah. you have something formally worked out, so, that's the way it works. So how you just you, you just can't. And I, and I you know, and I, I saw that they, they showed me the email that you sent. Um, which I didn't think was a bad email, but you just, just because you write something on, something on a piece of paper doesn't, it's a necessar contract. doesn't necessarily make it so. It's a contract. It's a legally binding contract Between and who? that permit. Between who? Between the town yeah. and the person who's getting That's the money. That's correct. And, and who enforces that contract? It's been and if you want to show me where it says the CPA committee, you show me where it says that. Well. And I'm not going to say but I'm not going to say that it, do, that it doesn't work like that in other communities, but they have a formal thing worked out, Sorry. and you don't. And I'm well, not saying that you can't. Could you? It's could just you, you write up an appropriate uh, document? I'm that, leaving. Huh? <laughs> I, 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 honestly, God, I'm retiring the last day of June. How many, how many more hours? <laughs> <laughs> and right. I've got. And I mean, I've got I think. I think what it comes down to yeah. is the select board is not aware that could be that there are you specific. You could stop right there. Well, well, right. well and, and I think this is true. Yeah. This is yeah. if you looked at my email, I'm that sorry. was what I suggested. Yeah. What you need to have the select board, the town administrator, and you folks, and you got to figure out what, in fact, is the formal process you have for administering projects once they've approved. Been approved okay. by town meeting. Because this I'm, is I'm thinking for us to about take yes, yeah, but yes. I'm thinking about on the conservation commission. Mm -hmm. I, the board doesn't vote. I sign bills all the time. The board doesn't vote on each bill. The board they should be voting on each no, bill. No, they are not. They uh, have authorized. Right, right. They may not be. They have but authorized. I'm not sure that's no. supposed to be. They have we authorized vote. me we vote for to every sign. Bill. You do. Yeah. I know you do. And, and you sign at your meetings. What's and good? most boards do that. Well, we're not what a about decision making board. What about chasing the funds? Yeah. Yeah. Are left a what? Over. Chasing leftovers and the like. I mean, is that what is that? that it you doesn't. If you're looking at, 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 I realize you're saying the contract is between the applicant and, and the select board. What about non performance? No, the town. Uh, right. the town. So, Larry, make a suggestion. If we want to do it the way Paula is suggesting, should we make a formal I, I request? Think, I think you need to. What I suggest is have the selectman, have the town administrator, have the town accountant, and have yourselves and sit down and what's the most efficient way to administer the projects once town meeting approves them? Okay, because, I mean, the best, most efficient way is if we get a staff person, even part time staff person that they are the person who verifies whether or not the funds, because we have asked people, people have submitted bills to this mm -hmm. committee 
and it says five thousand dollars for services. Sure. And we've for kicked what? it back for and what? said for what? Yeah. yeah. And if he's paying that, because yeah. we've had we've had people have yeah. to take things. I don't know out. if he's paying that or not. Well, I'm not it sure sounds he, like he is. Well, he may not be paying. He may be asking for a read more detailed breakdown. I couldn't tell you that. Well, if but I what I do know is he's not waiting for you until you finally. Uh, Lock into the town hall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That used exactly. to happen once a week. Yeah. Right. Well, so, this is just an advisory board. It's not like Conservation Commission or Planning. You guys don't have, really have any authority. I think it's just what was said true. that at town meeting, our job ends. And then the town treasurer, whoever, is town the, treasurer does not do that. Town well, that's you, well, or, in, in or the of, town manager, yeah. the town officials then. Allocate it's the typically your town administrator, your town manager, or mm -hmm. your uh, procurement officer. Because those are the ones who are most skilled in procurement laws and in contracting. Mm -hmm. And they're also the ones right. that are in the building, you know, seven days a week. That's so. right. However, <laughs> having, <laughs> however, I will say, Five days? most Sorry, procurement three. officers will verify uh, with whoever. Yep. Yeah. Um, have they met all these requirements before they put their John Hancock on it? Because sure. that's a legal document. But, but again, and I get that back to your that's point, their job. where does it say that you are the arbiter to determine that those have all been met? That has been this committee's... You just show me where it says that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'd have, to, I'd have to look at the law again to okay. see what it says. Okay. Because... The law right. is... And, and I'm not saying right. it's a good law. Right. Because it does, it does. It just kind of leaves things hanging. Right. And it doesn't... I mean, if you read it, it doesn't right. go to the next step. It would have been really helpful if it had. Right. Because I'm not saying you maybe shouldn't have that role. Because it's just if the that state ever know. does mm -hmm. or someone audits, yeah. then the town is going to be on the hook yeah. That's for right. money. And like we, this committee right. chased David Nixon down because they were given $25,000 to replace doors and they didn't replace the doors with the CPA funds. They, they bought the aluminum doors yeah, to put in. That's we have to talk about, too. Well, they, and, took, they took that out of the building. Mm -hmm. they, they ended up not using CPA money. Right. right. They no, they didn't. It. And supposedly they didn't that money it. was returned yeah. to us, but we have no documentation that that money was returned. I, don't because think, I, I think it just it, wasn't spent. It just wasn't spent. We right. didn't give them but it the went, money. It went through town. It went, it went through, through town meeting. Town yes. meeting for the funds, but it's never come off the books because if I think if so you does look the at treasurer it, have it in the well, it shows up on my it shows up on my ledger as a project. Right. And then instead of being completed or in progress, canceled. We did right. have but the money we did is at town meeting. But we have, we the have, money is still a, there. But the money no, is it's not. No, we had a town not meeting anymore. to return it. The but the right? Well, no. But that's what I want to talk about. Do we leave it there or do we take it out? No. And then, can I ask, so it, it after t it's right after town meeting that the, in, in this particular example, the money would have been taken out of CPA and put into a, 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 project. a project fund. Right. Right. Yeah. Each each project has been designated so, then, yeah, its own. X, X amount of money coming out of X pot. A different pot, but it's coming out of the CPA account, uh, yes, right. and moving into a, 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 this project account. It's under right. CPA. Correct. Each each project so has its own account a, number. There's going to be a trail. On That's that. right. Yeah. However, it, it was trail. voted at town meeting to return that money. Right. But it's still designated as in that fund. It still shows up for the doors. Right. Well, it was a mistake. Then. No, well, are we arguing because we are afraid of losing? Authority? <laughs> or are we arguing because we don't feel we have a lack of accountability to how the money is being spent? I feel that there is a lack of accountability for the expenditure of the funds once they've been allocated. Mm -hmm. okay. And I feel that there has been, without some kind of accountability, that some of these funds are going to get <coughs> siphoned off and paid for stuff that's not allowed under the CPA. Well, that's, well, that's a different issue. That's but a, that's, but that's I a very think, bad issue. But I so, think it's yeah. going because that was yeah. one of the questions. They were going to use that $25,000. You know, and and I, I can totally appreciate you know, the watchdog you know, uh, desire for that. It's just there's nothing there that right. gives you that. Well, so, once we have a full-time yeah. financial officer, yeah. it's going to be much more... That would be a huge help. But, huh? but if you would, who would be responsible for bird dogging that? If it's on their side, the town administrator. 
Because they're on the hook if they. But he's the one who's going to expend it. <laughs> that's, you know, that's sort of his I mean, job. that's the fox guy so in the hen house. You didn't complete your statement. Sorry. Okay. Before you were so rudely interrupted. Oh. No, no. I might have. <laughs> <laughs> like, you never did. I knew you were always your turn. I might have. <laughs> so, uh, with the accountability of the new accountant that we yeah. have. Uh, with the, you know, with ha having a full-time accountant, I think, will help a lot. Um, just in terms of keeping your numbers up to date and keeping them available. Okay. And making them readily available. Right. I think having a part-time staff person really helps with communicating what your concerns or interests are I with agree. that with right. that uh, with that position as well as the town administrator. You because said full time account. The town account. Town account. Town account. Yeah. Town account. Town account. However, well, is, that your, yeah. is that your financial person you're talking about? No, Treasurer, you meant for auditor, us or for the town. No, oh, for town. the town. Town. Yeah. town. So, but. Yeah. No, but we're going to have a. You have a part. It's going to be a, a professional accountant, not elected. In residence. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah. But the, the key is whoever is approving these payments needs to know and check off that these are things that, because David Nixon does not have a copy of the application which has line items of how much money and the things are going to be, but he, he the goes to town meeting, the they do the contract and they say, okay, we'll take it and we yeah. do it. Yeah, and, and maybe they just, you know, cut and paste it from that. But that's what's in the contract. Because the application might, what gets approved might change what's in the application. And oh, that's, yeah. that's the problem. Well, no, it's not the problem. I mean, during the process of your, the, the, during the process of your evaluation, right. the, you might the, want to see changes made to the, the application. The application has never yeah. been part of the contract. No. The approval permit, then how, the then permit. Then what is the scope for the contract? The, you know, I haven't seen the contract, right. so I can't speak to that, but typically, okay. Your contract, you know, will have like kind of the details of what it's supposed to cover. I don't believe. I they honestly have don't know. I don't. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't believe it's been. I don't think okay. But have that's it. that's where. Well, what would be good is get a copy of the contract. On that side too. Well, it just seems to me, Dave. It's a town meeting. He sees what's allocated. I don't understand why you think he doesn't know what's going on. David may know what's going on, but he doesn't dot his eyes and cross his t's, saying, "Okay, so if someone submits a bill and says." The, the example was they submitted for water testing and we, or bill for uh, consulting services for mm -hmm. Lake Warner. And we said, well, we didn't approve consulting services, so what was covered under that? And then they had to give us a breakdown of each lab test that was done and how much it cost because that's what was approved in, and that was what was requested in the application. David doesn't have all that information. So that's, that's the crux of it. So if I submitted a bill, I think the example was the library, walked a bill over to him, and he paid it. Right. He had no idea if anything in that was, was, kosher. was part of you what would, had been approved. That's, right. You don't understand. Yeah, that's, that's true. Well, at first. Should we should resolve yeah. later. We're not going right. to resolve later. Yeah, we're not going to be resolved. And Hadley yeah, was one of the first towns to adopt it. And we were flying blind. And we sure. wanted to be accountable to the town, to the people who put the bill. Right. That's true. Um, should we, I mean, we, we can spin here until midnight. Well, here's what I want to do. Okay. Let me give you these. OK. OK. Not, not that I don't want to. What's that? Is that that colored one? This is, yeah, this replaces the colored one. It's up in color. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> pass this along and pass this I, along. I guess I do need one. <laughs> I'll give you this. Thank you. Thank wow. You. <laughs> okay, and this is, I'm telling you, we put a lot of time into this because uh, it's just not out there. Well, this is what we started doing. Um, what well, Edwin and I started doing. We this. started to yeah. try to do it. And this turned out to be a bugaboo. Look at it. Yes, it is. Uh, Part of it was because Joe kept records by yep. year yep. versus by project. Yeah. So we couldn't tell, you know, like how much money was spent on this on a particular building so far. Well, so what I was trying to figure out. Is, so what we've done here is, if you go across, this tells you every year mm -hmm. through 2017. Because again, in 2018, you don't have the full accountability yet. Right. Uh, but it tells you how much you collected in your local surcharge. Right. And it tells you what your check was from the state. 
Great. Mm -hmm. And then this is by year what your total was. Mm -hmm. And then below here, it breaks it down in terms of your 10% and your 70% mm -hmm. accounts. Mm -hmm. So you know now every year how much money went into that pot. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, in the column under total, you know, you've gotten, you collected, uh, we're going to add it going down. Mm -hmm. um, well, four million three hundred fifty-three thousand one hundred twenty-three dollars, right? Roughly. Where do you see that? I see that. Where are we here? Mm -hmm. The total of those. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, uh, I honestly, I would like to. I, I think this is great, actually, because this is what we tried to put together. Right. And if you so, then we go to the next box now. Who did yeah. this? I mean, I'm, you, obviously you did. You yep. did a great job. Or who yeah. helped you? Uh, uh, your town accountant. Linda Sanderson? No, it was uh, Justin. 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 Okay. Justin Tooney. Okay. She's mm -hmm. yeah. um, uh, and David as well. There were a couple of town meeting votes we couldn't find. Right. But we had to go back to all the town meetings uh, and find out what was appropriate yeah. and from what fund and stuff. And that's when we found out you know, there were some screwy things that went on. Okay, so we go to the bottom left box. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a happy CPA appropriations. And this is through 517 mm -hmm. That's the number I was looking for. And this tells you the number of projects for each of the uh, project types. It tells you how much, let's take for open space, for example, for the 31 projects, $272,225 was appropriated out of the 10% open space set aside. And $911,000, the $50 came out of the 70%. And so you spend a total of one million one hundred eighty-nine thousand five hundred seventy-five dollars, which comes out to be thirty-six point seven percent of, in fact, what your total CPA appropriations were. Okay. Okay. So this kind of breaks okay. down to show you how you've been spending the money and where it's been coming from. Boy, housing is terrible. Well, it always is. It's tough finding housing projects because usually they are super expensive. I mean, to do a real housing project. That's why you go into debt. Uh, you borrow. Well, Oh, yeah. Yeah, housing, yeah, housing is a big Housing is just tough to find projects. It is. It is. And if you take a look uh, later, later on, uh, most of your housing projects are housing authority fixing fences and yeah. gazebos and stuff like that. Right. Okay, so now on the right hand side column, bottom right, we have what the best that we can determine is what the fund balances are. And again, it comes out and it uh, gives the total CPA funds that were received. And then, based upon the 10% and the 20%, um, this is how much was collected. The next column over is how much you appropriated from what was collected or designated to those accounts. And in the far right column, it shows you what you have left in the balance for each of those pots. Mm -hmm. Really? So we have a million, one. Mm -hmm. You have a million dollars, but you know, you got 28,000 in open space. That's it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That doesn't seem That's right. It. Well, you've been spending a lot. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Open space. Open, it's because recreation. Exactly. Exactly. Recreation, the, the Hopkins Fields was a big part of that. Mm -hmm. All right, so. So, 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 so what we're just yeah. trying to do is just get, get numbers to give you yep. a sense Thank of the you. relationship yeah. between what you're spending, what you have left, and, and mm -hmm. how it's being. But this is number is electronic version of the Lumo projects that <laughs> were appropriated but never spent. It right. does, but that's what we have to talk about. It actually, it, I, I, it includes it. I think I only have no, one limo project. Be appropriate. I think I've got limo project at your doors. Yeah. Larry, besides the accountant and David, yeah. uh, uh, is there an electronic copy that can be yeah. forwarded to? Yeah. yeah. Well, there, there are some others. There are other projects where not all the money was spent and there's right. the money left over. Well, we have a list of all the projects. Not so, right. you can go library. through the library. Today, mm -hmm. did that I told you today, mm -hmm. today we have the library. So this we can throw away or what? Yeah, this we can throw away. The Russell School. Of, you know, um, Russell School did, did use some of the funds. But there's some left over. There's some left over. I'm sorry, what's not left yeah, over? Yeah, let's, let's, we're let's gonna, we'll get to that. Yeah. The next sheet uh, shows you the actual expenditures by project category by year. And these are actually, these are the bills. This is when you pay bills. Mm -hmm. And so they're not necessarily going to actually match up year to year, but you may be spending, you, right may, be, you may be paying the bill the following year for what you're appropriating mm -hmm. for you. Right. Okay. So what we really need is like your next page, which is 
So this what page was appropriated this what page spent. goes that's this page. Okay. okay. This page goes project by project. Uh, and there are two. And there's this one and then there's this one here set up here. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the back one first. Okay. How do you CPA project appropriations of chronological order? This is the listing chronologically of what we have as projects that have been approved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the the, the, dark, the bold one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this starts with what, FY05, mm -hmm. and it also has a status whether it be completed or not, what category it, it classified as, mm -hmm. where the money came from, what the total amount was, uh, and if there's any leverage funding. And Janice uh, has a list of, she said, she's trying to get it to me, of the APR projects that show uh, what additional funding was uh, Came out of the woodchuck fund or out of the TBR mm -hmm. fund and mm -hmm. went into those as well. So the to so the total project cost or the total leverage funded might not be accurate for some of those. Um, but when I go down the list, and this again is chronological, mm -hmm. there were a couple of things that um, jumped out. Number fifty-two, Town Hall, number four. Mm -hmm. I've also been numbering these so that you can kind of get a feel for how many. Mm -hmm. Buildings actually, you know, how many kind of repetitive right. buildings there were throughout the place. Well, that's what we were, Edwin and I were trying to pull yeah. together. And all. what I was told was that town meeting voted to not spend the money. Right. To return the money to the we, account. We never, and the answer I got was they never received the money because we didn't cut them a check and said, here's, here's the money to spend on the doors. So we never did that. So my question is. This has $22,100 mm -hmm. listed as being appropriated out of the historic 10%. Right. But it's projects been canceled. Do we leave that in or do we take well, that out? That well, should this go is back where the town meeting voted to yeah. return those funds back it, to the account. So that, that should have gone back to the account. If that's the case, I think we should scratch yeah. this line. Right. Uh, I actually have the opinion that we keep, well, a, keep it there just for... Because it, it may have been canceled, doesn't mean the money was necessarily spent, but it mm -hmm. would be. Well, that's true. This is just to know that this is a reference that it was voted on at one point. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know, right. You well, take you it keep, away, you keep it there, there, but then you show that the money was you returned. Well, it shouldn't be under yeah. appropriation. Yeah, well, under, under total CPA appropriation, should go to zero at yes. some point. Right. Yeah. And also that. So, so, so well then, we almost mm, need. Yeah, do you want to have a note that the there was a town meeting vote to? Well, I guess what I would say is if we can, if you want to leave it in there, mm -hmm. that we zero out. Right. Zero right. Out. You put right. A minus right here. It, it went, once it's returned, twenty three hundred twenty three thousand. Minus twenty three. So uh, that's got to go back to the uh, return to return to CPA account. A little asterisk. Right. Someday. So twenty three thousand one hundred needs to be added back to the historic. Yeah. Set aside. Yeah. So there's the, there's a little bit more yeah. that's there now right. than they had before. Yep. Okay. And then the library electrical. Fifty six. Where's that? That's what not. That's that? fifty six. Fifty six. They stopped 56. that. Fifty six. In progress. They stopped that. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't know how much they spent of it though. They may have spent some of that. Uh, according to this, no, let's see. No, they didn't do any. That's the library. Yeah. Yeah. And the library is historical. Electrical in ceiling. Yeah. Fifty-six. Well, I'm going back to this sheet here. Okay. There's this sheet here lists every project and what was built. Okay. What? Okay. Right, 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 right. What sheet are you That's looking good. at? I'm looking at the the Hadley CPA project expenditures by category. So what I did here was, whereas on the, the back sheet they're listed yeah. chronologically, what I've done here is I've, I've, I've grouped them into categories. Okay. So here are all your historic projects. Here's all your housing okay. projects, etc. Electrical and res restoration, right there. Where's that? I got some numbers on these. Yeah, um, fiscal year 14, it's on this page, right yeah. here. Yeah. Very What's at the very top? The other one does. Historic yeah. building survey is the first one. Historic building survey. Okay. Yeah, I got that. One. And now you go down one, that, two, three, eight? four, five, six, six, yes, oh, seven, eight. Yes. Uh, well, you were billed $1,500. Right. They did uh, so something. There was some money. Uh, it may have been a design review, but. Uh, I think that might have been the design. <laughs> Goodwin, let's see what Goodwin 8 is. Goodwin 8 is Furnace. 
Yeah, I thought I think they the had. the design money might have been separate. Separate, I think so. Yeah. Goodwin yeah. Chimney, Goodwin Second Floor Engineering Study. Yeah. Was that it? Yep. Okay, that was done in FY11. Five grand was appropriated, and it looks like uh, uh, 575 was actually spent. 5,000? No, 575. Okay, and I think that 1,500, did that come out of that one? No, the 1,500 is the project under, under, Yeah, that's okay. under the 85. Yeah. Okay. So, so something was spent. Out of the 85. Out of the 85, right. but, but they didn't spend it all. Right. We, we got a letter we. from the trustees, who yeah. was the applicant and the recipient, yeah. saying we are no longer going forward with this project, so which if, is fine, but they if spent, the applicant, right, but they but spent fifteen hundred dollars, right. right. They so, spent, so eighty-three five, yeah. eighty-three should five be should be returned to the, to the historic yeah. historic yeah. fund. Well, we does it have to? You know, I could have sworn that somewhere in the law that if someone returns money, it goes back into the general fund. Not into oh. the set aside no, that we, it goes. No, no, no. This, this oh, is yeah. this, this, this is this is your. This doesn't pay for police cars or teachers. No, no, no. It goes into the general fund of the CPA. No. Oh no, it goes back to it goes to the back to the board. It goes back to the categories of cable. It goes back to the set aside. How do you divide the eighty-five hundred dollar deduction? Because it all came the fifteen hundred dollar deduction. Because it all came out. It all came out of the store. Okay, we're lucky. No, I'm sorry. It all came out of general. Okay, that we're lucky there. Yes. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Like, well, wait a minute. I don't know. Yeah. What did it? You're saying the electrical came out of general? Uh, general. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it says last historic. next to last page. You've got historic, historic. on yeah. line item fifty six. Yeah, right here. Historic category. That's what the category project category was. Which account did it actually come out? Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, you got to be careful. Because the first person I had working on this made the assumption that if it was an open space category, it came out of the open space 10%. Right. And so I found out when I actually looked at the numbers, that wasn't true. Oh my. Right. So it came out of general funds, yeah. so it should go back into the, the general, general fund. fund. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. If they're not, and the only reason you don't keep that money in there is because if, if the trustees, and I believe we give them a two-year time frame. We started doing that a couple of years yeah. ago. Three so years ago. Yeah, I think it's smart. That yeah. money, I don't like so it doesn't really set well, up the waste five years. Letter that you can always come back. It, so then it's just a matter of following through, right? The letter is so but, it, but it would need, to, and this is where it needed to go to town meeting to say return the funds were not, that this amount of money gets returned, and I don't know whether that, was part of that list. I don't know. Yeah. It, it still that was a mechanism that I think there should be a better methodology for that. But I mean, yeah. because we've had it with building committee projects all sure. around, mm -hmm. where you wind up with these little bits here and there, which is right. why we're pushing for a larger fund that you could. Right. You know, if one was a little high and one was a little low, but yeah. But with CPA, you, know, you, you can't. Right. Say, but take it should, that should, project yeah, and yeah, add it to that. But it'd be project. nice if it washed in back into the uh, back into the CPA from which it was from whence it came. Right. Yeah. Right. And that's what it should be. <coughs> but it's those little bits of money. Yeah. That's the accounting part of it. Oh, and that's where the institutional memory comes. Right. Mm. And that's and that's where looking at the town meeting votes because there was, I want to say a couple town meeting votes or. Last year or the year, there was a whole list of things of returning money yeah. right. back into the account, and I don't remember. Well, I've got whether copies or not, of all the town meeting votes. Whether or not yeah. the library one was in there, and if it yeah. wasn't, then that needs to go in. Yeah. If they are not, if the trustees are not going to spend that money. So all right. these sheets, and we'll do that for this coming town meeting. Uh, we just got to tell the select board. That if they want well, this is a, a to, you know the library relatively new to this committee, but this is something that I'm, I'm glad that right. somebody in the YouTube oh, yeah. the time took a ton of time. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. I believe yeah. that. I mean, I did this when I was in, in Westfield, but I started it. You know, I had it from day one. Right. Yep. <laughs> so it worked out really well. Like I, said, I just kept adding to it, and this is this is having to go back and build this from yeah. scratch was. Uh, Wow. Well, this is what Edwin and I started doing. We tried to do file this. Yeah. by file by file, writing, uh, handwriting uh -huh. it out to start with. So these will go in as an appendix, folded right. like that, right. color okay. one that you have there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that they would just be fold outs yeah. at the back of it. No. And, and to continue with this, you have um, David has 
has this? Do we have? I mean, as we far have, I mean, this electronic version. So we can. We, we have we have a Excel spreadsheet. Okay. So we'll, this would be this would be updated by the town accountant, right? Town accountant should, but if you have a uh, you know if we have staff, a staff person, then man, the staff I would have that person would right. keep on top of it too. Right. Um, you, this is the kind of information you want to have at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. You want a part time right. job when you retire? Be a staff person? I've got lots of people asking me that same question. <laughs> Give them time to enjoy retirement. <laughs> <laughs> what, five hours a week? <laughs> It'll probably be 10, 15, 20. Uh, well, actually, there's a project that the uh, PVPC is going to contract with, an outside contractor to do, that we got a grant for, but there's nobody there who can do it. But nice to feel wanted, doesn't so, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have a part-time gig for the next year. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Just before you wrap it up, uh, page 13. Yep. Have the uh, affordable housing. Yep. Got it, got it crossed out. The bottom it says South Avenue. Yep. It should, In fact, it Andy, Andy saw that too. That was one of Andy's notes. So let me look at Andy's notes. So can I... Because I don't want to keep everyone here going through each thing because I've got a bunch of different things. Can I like email them to you? Take okay. the document and do it in a different color? Yep, you can do that. And then uh, should I? And at some point, you know, you know, I, I, I'm going to, or I was going to get, you know, hard copies printed up with col colors and col 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 colors and stuff. You can do that yeah, instead mm -hmm. of me. And I, you know, so that you will just be getting charged just for the, the hours. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, we're not charging you, you know, what yeah. you're doing. There, there's money well, left they, over in, there's money left suggested. over in this contract. I mean, uh, and I can put them in that. color and just I, pull them together. I, I, I did yeah. have a comment, and, and sure. I was reading yes. the recreation part, and I looked at the master plan, and, and it looked like a lot of the verbiage was pretty much lifted yep. from the uh, latest version. Yep. Um, and, you know, the one issue I had with the whole passive recreation side from the OSRP input, I mean, I was part of that OSRP input, and I was still going back to the original 2005 master plan, which the number two goal was more recreational facilities. Yeah. Not, and, it it, be. And, and it just got lifted right off yeah, in this I know that. review. I, and I, uh, I know I, it. I'm not, <laughs> not exactly sure how that happened, but, uh, it, but I noticed that. I see. Uh, that's, that, that is noted. Um, yeah, because it, it, it did, it disappeared. It disappeared, and it was a, it yeah. was a, a, a and I think you're gonna find a significant reply from the household, not from the OSRP. Right. The well, OSRP. I mean, and I don't mean to offend you, but this town, for a town of this size, does not have a hell of a lot. Don't, but, it's no, no offense. Uh, you know, we've been fighting recreational for facilities for, for, for kids. It's just, um, uh, for my dad. it's remarkable. <laughs> but, Soccer, T-ball. There's many remarkable. Baseball. Oh, well, what I learned when I went to talk to the park and rec <laughs> folks, uh, yeah. people take their kids to other communities yeah. to participate in the programs. Well, that's well, that's AAU stuff. That's a little different. Well, I mean, because well, part of that is because in the school have... system, you don't have enough. Like at Hopkins, you don't have enough kids to do soccer and field hockey. But they do. We used to that at Hopkins Academy. We appropriated the money for three new ball fields right. out there. Then we have room for three more. So we've got the right. land. All we have to do is appropriate the money. And, and, and uh, uh, the coalition questioned me on that project. Who did? Uh, Stewart. The CPA coalition. The CPA coalition. Uh, questioning me about uh, are there bleachers there? Is there a concession stand? And at what point no. does we? Concession. And at what point does it become a, a field to be a stadium? Right. So you got to be, well, you got to be very careful. And yeah. so I don't know why it's not. Um, it's just ball fields. We yeah. got that's clear. And Aquam did the same right. thing. Sure. But Larry. But I, but I think Palmer did, and they only spent on fields. But they had. Uh, I mean, it was private. Somebody right. else came. Right, and, I, and that's what yeah. we made sure yeah. in the application for the fields that if they had all these other things that weren't allowed, right. those had to come out of the application but, but even so if, that they couldn't expend those. I funds. don't think it's a matter of even if you're not paying for it. If they are existing, it's considered to be a stadium and you can't spend CPA money on Port stadiums. Portable no. bleachers makes it a stadium? 
But and and it, it also has to be accessible. Oh, I thought it's not something you just put the fence up around. Right. Right. That's one of the things that was in the original. Really? Right. Cause they, but, the, but the town did spend yeah. its own money year, and, and private money doing it the same, a similar thing at the elementary school. Yeah. Um, which is one of the reasons why two of the parks were kind of idled because those ball fields were moved because of unsafe conditions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, the, the, the commission, I mean, the town is losing one of its only non-school recreational fields left. Um, and that's going to become a senior center. Maybe. So we got to get. We got to get that. <laughs> anyway. We got to get those fields going. Yes. I guess right. we, can we, can we jump ahead right? briefly? Sure. Yes. Larry, are, Project submission guidelines. Are you, are you, so so you're through with the planning board. Pretty much should. because the planning select board wants to meet with the planning board regarding inclusionary zoning. Okay. Uh, yeah, I am. Good. Okay. Just so, uh, well, my suggestion, so though, I will is, do my homework. is if you do want to meet with them on housing like that, you might want to have Ashley there instead of Susan. Okay. Uh, Ashley Eaton. This is. I. Well, you, you know my feeling. You know my feeling. I, mean, I think they're insane. What? To be jumping into uh, housing trusts. Oh, and, I totally agree. We. Uh, I mean, we. We have just don't have the capacity. I mean, <laughs> I mean, after you brought your people there, it's. <laughs> They get six percent. That's like a real estate. Yeah. Not one, yeah. just part of the sale. Yeah. They get six percent yeah. year after year. I mean, wow. they're making a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a terrific thing if you have the the capacity to administer. We and if I you agree. don't, then you just don't, and you gotta wait till you do. Just another editor. Hey, company. maybe you could hire a full-time person, split a part-time. Three with states. Part -time with there are only three states that have inclusionary we, we, zoning. I, my California, eyes don't work on that. New York and printing. Massachusetts. <laughs> Which one is that? This is page 16 at the right. bottom. Is that the, is that the project el <laughs> eligibility? Uh, determining turn. project eligibility. Okay, look at page 17. Mm. Page 17. Well, the one, uh, of what still, I gave you. I'm back on page 15. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead, Andy. Right. Of what Let's I gave you. Oh, you did take I one I didn't of get those. a new one. You no, no, you were offered. I know, because I print. I Hold was on. trying to save paper. I, I think, think you gave your last one. There's one more. Okay. Uh, look at page seven. Okay. So <laughs> we're supposed to do. Because I had the same issue. Yeah. We did yeah. My arms are that long. <laughs> um, uh, page unless, 50. unless I'm mistaken, the submission guidelines are only uh, accepting applications once a year. It's whatever you want. Are you suggesting that? No, no, no. no. We, we I don't suggest. think you guys need enough. We have August and... I don't I'm telling you. Right. Well, no, because it we is, can't it approve is, anything so what's the point brutal. of meeting more often? It is brutal, Town but, meeting uh, is the approval. If you can do this, in, I don't think you can do this in two meetings. But we us well, we usually have at least two meetings. Yeah. We were doing it in two meetings, and we finally said, no, we're going to get one meeting to review the applications. Yeah. And then we get to go away, give them some feedback, go away, come back, and then we vote. But right. in, in practicum, we still had three three meetings this past time around for full time meeting. Anyway. Right, yeah. right. I mean, no. We, was, but no, this is not just once. I just didn't know what your second right. was. You're talking about. So where, where are you there's saying a that, Andy? Well, there's um, page, page 15, 15, formal applications. Yeah, yeah we usually, yeah. what is it, August and January is yeah. when we accept Well, we talked about that. Nobody wanted to do it. We, we discussed it, but we didn't want I, to do it. I say it's nothing like a deadline to get the work done. I believe that, yes. Right. If, no. we, if, we let it, if we let it slide, the select board is trying to put one on us. And right. I don't know how much we, you know, I know we want I to I agree. I think a deadline is a wonderful it, thing. But when I think you want to start early to give yourself enough time so you're not squeezed by the deadline. And I, my own personal opinion is if it warrant closes by August 1st, that's when we should be done. That's my own personal opinion. That is the placeholder. No. Right. But no, the that's, a placeholder, well, that's the placeholder warrant. What I mean is, and, and this comes from building committee stuff and other experiences, you get your list of, this is what we want on there. It's hard to add. It's easy to pull off. Right. I agree. I but, agree 100%. But if you're saying they're going to have August 1st as our cutoff date, that means we have to meet July. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's very hard to get people together. Oh, in they've July. got to, people have to start putting their applications together in June. Right. right. I mean, and the first step is, as we, if you go through here and you see the forms, you know, the first step is to get an eligibility certification. Before you, before they spend a ton of money on investing it and putting a project together, before they, and to avoid wasting your time further down the road, they need to come in and just say, hey, is this eligible or not? Before we start putting a lot of time and effort into well, isn't it up to the committee? Isn't it up to the uh, the applicant? 
to find no, out? No, but his, his point is a good point. First mm -hmm. of all, is the application in order, number one? If it's going to require more uh, <clears throat> yeah. blueprints or more uh, kind of definitive statement of what they we want need, to do, you need more time. Maybe, maybe you, they need more time or we need more time or maybe we should appropriate a, a small amount of money to get it done. Okay. Well, so that, is that all the local CPA or something? Because we, state does nothing. We, you know, people come in on the back of the envelope and said, I want this. I mean, they didn't even know, have a bid on windows, for example. And right, but, but. We have to make sure we are getting adequate numbers and an adequate right. description of what's going to be done. Yeah. And I think we've done a better yeah. job of that over the last two years because, like, when Hopkins came in for the ball field. The first time. The first time, we sent him away and said, yeah. you, What do you mean? You, you don't even have numbers for us. Yeah. You need to do your full plan. So then they hired Berkshire Design. That we paid for that. And the we paid but, for that. But that's where the beauty of the first step, which is come into us and find out whether your project is eligible right. first. Yeah, because that's when you get to do right. that. Does it's it kind of like a preliminary plan. That's right. correct. And you can kind of start saying, well, no, we w this is what we're going to expect. Right. Okay. This is the level of detail we're going yep. to explain. Well, if, if we have yeah. staff, that will help. Right. Yeah. If you had a, a part-time staff person who is knowledgeable the in these things. Say, yeah. 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 Well, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing that already on... Um, there probably is, job. but you'd have to... That's, have to that's, have that's been his job, that's been my job, that's been Joe's job. Right, yeah, yeah. and that's... that's but I mean, much. Much. That's too much. Yeah. Yeah. It's not fair. So that's why we... But can we put that on the agenda? To vote for, for a, a staff person, we already have funds set aside. We we I know, but we have to allocate it and, and to get, it, get a person. We've already been talking about that for some time. But you have right. to be a little. Well, I mean, we have to do likes, it. Certainly, when you're talking about hiring and paying, the select board likes to have their input. Right, yeah. but so. but yeah. here's the deal: is you can't just say, you know. Joe off the street, come on and we're going to hire yeah. you. You have uh, to know and be able have to read. Have a job application. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. But you, you need to know, have a background. It's almost like a part-time planner. Well, I mean, this person will be a town employee. Right. Well, you know, my question is, is, is there somebody already employed that could, uh, A, has time, or B, could use more hours? I, I that could that think may be of the a, case. I could think of a couple. That may be the case. You may have some people in, in town to, hall who... Uh, right. Who don't mind coming to some more night meetings and are happy to get additional you know, pay? Mm -hmm. right. Do it, and we'd be willing to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can think of a couple people. So we need a job. Or the other side of the coin is, if what else did you have? Then? People don't think good. it's too much work. Just, Find somebody that can really want to pitch in. Yeah. There you go. You're the here. We go. Okay. What else? But anyway, so I'd like the plan to reflect that we accept uh, proposals twice a year. Okay, then before, then before each, each time. Oh, I see. Is, and, can and you give me what the time frame is for those? Because I just have August to January typically is what we have. Okay. Yes. That was. Well, yeah. I well that let's put that, that now. Like it if it changes, it needs to be changed. Well, what's up? I mean, so, so I, I'm, I'm interested that you have a, a, a you know, town meeting in August. A lot of times happen like in November. Well, because we were we're we're told that Warren closes August first for an October eighteenth town meeting. Yeah, the town meetings in October. And Our what, fall what, town meeting is going to be October eighteenth. We were just told here that the warrant is supposed to close today. August first. Well, you know what? Then this is what you got to work back from. And so, but what they and said today, is and so today. We decided that we're going to have uh, uh, pr the proposal deadline is July 30th. Right. The first meeting uh, is August 6th. Six. Six. Okay, so, so when do you want to have. Here, I put it on. But see, it's no, going to change. Looking for the plan. But how, right. many, how, is, how many weeks before the town meeting? When it, when it, when it's it's well, it changes from year to year. Is, well, I, I think it. I think that the, the attorney factor is almost the date of the town meeting. It's the close of the warrant. So we need. Right. Well, no. That's what you kind of have to work back from. What he said was in January and June. In what yes. Me? In. And I think we. we August. This is it. August first, Larry. The yep. first two is when they need placeholders. And our drop dead date is the middle of September. They need definite stuff by the middle of September so it can go okay. to town council. So then you need at least by August 1st 
right. the project eligibility determination right. yeah. for right. the project. So right. you know whether you got a project in right. the pipeline that looks like it's a mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's positive. But typically, okay. so that we can and and this Andy, this is what we were looking at before is like why we did because I have minutes that show we had August and January because that gave us enough time. For the fall town meeting and, and another time spring for the spring town meeting. It looks like they, they well, so then this July 30th fall town yeah, special town meeting might work. Backed it up a bit, so yeah. you might have to. It's I mean, January, July, 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 and it it changes from it's year to year. Hard, it's going to be hard to get people. I'm going to. Yeah, Hopefully but you're they, not. You don't have to meet in, yes, in July. 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 Yes, no. we do. No, you just order have to, to get do, a placeholder. You just have to know how many applications. But who's going to make that decision? It has to be at so a we, we have, They have to go through the eligibility and get their submissions in So in who's going to so do the eligibility? Meet, then we have to meet in early August when we have all the submissions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I almost think that you want a draft proposal until we have staff. To make this change. I, I don't that understand because I see I, I almost think you want to do your project eligibility in June. You want them to submit your application in July. And then you guys do your placeholder determinations in August. And next August year, that is going to change. Yeah. Right. And that's yeah. the problem. That's right. that's right. Right. And, and that's where the date well, thing comes Because it, it will change. change. It, it has changed change. in the last yeah. five years. It, it, it moves a little bit a couple of weeks one way or the other. Well, no, the, I, I mean, I think the planning board said the lot, one of the times it just said, oh, we have we have four placeholders. Or, or maybe it was the police department the other the last one. They oh we'll take two placeholders, mm -hmm. and it's then not there's nothing opinion. there. Right. There's absolutely well, nothing. It just says reserve, reserve. Right. Reserve. And that's why I asked I mean, David. Make well, it up. It's easy enough to find placeholders. Well, it's in here. You <laughs> say right. put two in or three in every every one. You know, go, go to our CPC page website. Amy is right. And then on your website you you'll have the exact time. That's much better. If we could get to the website. And here we can do it. And that's what dates are no, but that was what we talked about. Was you guys have to have access to it? Because yeah. okay. um, all, you know, all your too. stuff, your applications, everything should be up on there. I, I think the reason why this timetable works is because we make people submit the plan first. I don't want to rush things, but yeah. I'd like to wrap this up if we yeah. could. Yeah. Um, so we, so you know, if somebody comes in with our, you know, two hundred uh, so thousand yeah, dollars, <laughs> we don't approve yeah. it. You know, we say no first. You fund the plan, right? And so we sort of push everything back six months. That's true, and you're right because you don't want to have a placeholder on the warrant if it's a project you decide you don't want to do. Well, we can yeah, always right. pull them off. We just pull them yeah. all the time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 You, can, you can pull yeah. them. It's not a big yeah. deal. Adding them is a problem. Well, so what's the deadline? When, when do they finalize the warrant? It's middle of September. No. Well, well, right. The drop the dead day is the 4th of, of October. August 4th. No. Andy, that's the drop dead it's day. Sorry, like October 3rd. Yeah. authority to you to call the shots. October 3rd this year is when well, they're going to the warrant. Well, October 3rd, yeah. What I wrote down, what David said. It'll was conceptual by 8 1, which is placeholders. Yeah. We, from mid to late September, we, they need final votes yeah. and so that it can go to town council. And that goes to town council on September 19th. So mid to, mid to end of mid to late September. That's an issue too. So, and that goes to town council so that they can publish the warrant, he said, by October 4th. Yep. which is two weeks, approximately October 4th, which is about two weeks before the actual meeting. Right. So they need our stuff basically a month before town meeting. Yeah. So we need to have, whenever town meeting is, yeah. we need to have final mm -hmm. votes a month before town right. meeting. So your plan they, they should not have the hard dates. You should have like right. the general mid-June or right. whatever, and then go to your website where you'll have the specific right. drop dead dates on there. Right. And, and we've always done it where if someone has um, an application, mm -hmm. because we don't get a lot of applications. So, and that's why we're only meeting, you know, a couple times a year. Yeah. Well, that's when we get well, you guys have done a, a ton of projects. Right. Uh, you're right. It's been over, you know, right. yeah, 10, we've 14 done years, but yeah, you right. guys have but, a couple lists. Yeah, we But do. when we get the applications, typically if there's a town meeting coming up, we will, you know, whoever the chair is will say, we need to schedule a meeting to review this application. Because if we don't get anything else in, yep. we're What's not going to make that person, meeting? right, 
Yep. So there's there, and if there's no applications, we we're not going to schedule a hearing or a meeting. Yep. There's no reason to. So we've had two town meetings and nobody submitted an right. application. So what's the point in having a meeting? Those were the things. Right. Because you guys don't approve it. <laughs> uh, we do. Okay. We're, we're, that's the opposite of us. So it's like very rarely okay. we don't. Let's hold on for just a second. Yep. Let's talk about how we want to finish or conclude yeah. this process. I mean, there's a couple of ways. Have, do we want to have another meeting in a week or two where we have gone over this and already submitted our proposals, like I said at the beginning of this meeting? <laughs> or how do you want to do it? Well, see, that means it's what, 25th? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be counting the hours. Like, I got count time I'm burning, I got vacation time I'm burning, but uh, no, I, 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 if, if, if I'm free that night, I'll be happy to do one more. I would rather do uh, uh, my, my personal opinion is I'd like to sit right in front of them and talk to them about it. Okay. okay, well, do we want maybe one meeting without Larry and then one meeting with? Why? Well, we no, no. Well, Larry speaks his mind. Do we have any submissions? No, no, no. For oh, oh, for, no, for, for, for this plan. for the open for, so for this plan. I I will make a promise that I will email. I'll go in with different colored ink or a different color font and put my things in. Yeah. If anybody just don't else use has the any. just don't use the review thing. Can, you right. Don't like markup. No. Oh, I hate that. Oh, it was my idea. Oh. <laughs> well, no, I only hate it because when you print it up. Everything is very okay. tiny. But there's a, there's a uh, way to do that if, in the view. If you, if, you, if you don't want to read the whole thing, just read the section that pertains to That's true. your part. Yeah, because I think you look at that and then you're going to look at the process. Mm -hmm. If you want to read it, you know, go ahead. Yeah. Or you and can we're going to meet in two weeks. You can wait for the movie. Okay. Well, that's we what I'm to. asking people. I, I, I think two weeks, weeks so. is what we need. And then, right. so what is that? Let's see, 11th, 14th, and 25th. I won't be here. That is my last week. Last week. What? You'll be recovering? So unless we do in one week. One week. Well, when's your procedure? 21st. You know, I, you know, I've got all this in Word, you know, not just PDF. So I can give you that too. I, I mm -hmm. love it. And you can you know, make the changes right. and modifications, you know. Yeah, so. yeah, that, that would be good to yeah. have for us yeah. to have yeah. Yeah. Can, can I suggest that, <laughs> yeah, suggest that you make the changes that we've discussed so far and then send it around to me? Sure. Because I'd love to do the markup on that and, I, I, and, and I'll do it in a way that you know, could. I do it by color. What, what kind of markup? I either do color, Microsoft Word markup. I either do color oh, highlights okay. or strikeouts. Huh? Yeah, I, I so when are we meeting again? The 18th? Well, the 18th? That's next okay. week, right? Oh. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because the 25th is last Monday. 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 Get here as soon as I can. I'll get here as soon as I okay. can. Okay. Yeah. Which is like six thirty. Okay. Well, yeah, six thirty. Even that extra half hour to make a difference. Yeah. Meeting pulled the yeah. but at six thirty. Okay. So what's the case today? Eleven. So it's going to be eleven and seven. The eighteen. Yes. I wrote the sixteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. When is it going to be? June 18th. That's right. <laughs> there you go. At six? Are you sure you got that written down, Jim? I wrote it down three times. I've been in retirement for five months. Five months. Five months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. it? I, 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 I vote for you, Jim. Wait a minute. No, second. we got to vote on stuff. We, 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 we have to vote. Uh, you know what? We will post. We'll push it off for the next week. Okay. Uh, and should we, when you send the agenda down uh, around, because technically you're supposed to... Send the agenda? Well, or post the agenda for the meeting. You could pretty much post the same one that you just did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Something other than what I did, you mean? Well, you got to do it for every meeting. You oh, can't yeah, do it yeah. for. You no, change, no, no, no. I change the date and the time, and you're good. Yeah, you I, change I, the date and the time, yeah. I thought you wanted me to do something. No, 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 no. no. Okay, I spent four hours this morning doing the same thing, going over line by line with a group on uh, the, the new marijuana bylaw. Oh. 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 
I mean, it's you know, it's the same kind of brutal mm -hmm. stuff. You got to do it. Go through it line by line. Yeah. There's no way around it. You know? I have to say, generally, I was very pleased with the uh, with the draft. Uh, old nitpicking side. Mm -hmm. um, I always want to be ready. Sure. You're, you're, you're what? Never want to buy one. Uh, uh, you'll you'll probably adjourn. be working up our model. Yes. yes. Yeah, but, you'll, but Susan will be doing that. Not me. Yes. All in favor of adjourning? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you, Larry. Okay, okay. so oh. next we're so next meeting next Monday at 6:30. A week from.